All right, microphone check. You already know, man. The Gemini Scorpio podcast, uh, episode 60. Damn. Um, 60. Where we at, Julian? 66. 66. Damn, I thought we probably been at 67. You did 66 podcast? 66. It was actually more than 66 weeks, but some shit going on. Um, and speaking of some things going on, uh, you know, Gemini Scorpio podcast is a, a podcast with me and my lady. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys um, know by now some things going on. So I just want to keep the podcast going. Uh, Thank the supporters for fucking with me. Uh, this is the second week that I'm doing all guys. I know it's kind of weird, but um, I just want to say I appreciate it. You know, it is a real relationship podcast, real relationship shit. We talk, we, so it's real relationship shit. Anybody that's been in a relationship, you know you have your times. Um, but right now we are definitely like in a, a hard space. So make sure y'all pray for us. Uh, I don't like, I don't know, like, it's hard talking about it. Cause like, I, like, I don't know. Are like, we are we talking about? Yeah, it I don't know. We're not talking. No, we're not talking. About, we're, not talking about, we're not talking. I'm just saying, like, I love you. You feel me? Like, we, you know, we going through some things right now. But uh, I feel like with anything, with consistency, anything that you care about, though, you got to go through these things. You, you know, so? we men, yeah, we, 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 you know, men and women. I mean, at the end of the day, we just trying to figure it out. Facts. We all okay. trying to take care of ourselves and everything in front of us. And I think um, we all get, you know, lost or, or, or you know. She did say Robert fuck the podcast though. So she ain't said that. Uh, <laughs> she ain't said that. But she, I mean, I mean, well, as of right now, you feel me? Like, so I think we was having a conversation of like changing the name, right? Uh, because again, we like it's, it's some real shit. Right. And uh because we are still fighting for what we got, I don't I don't want to change the name because I want to just keep it going. I think that this would be it would be better in the long run. Now, I ain't on no Joe Button shit. I ain't just, we ain't just go through some shit and the next week I started recording. It's been like a month for real. Like mm -hmm. people know it's been like a month. So I wasn't on no, just skip straight to it. But it, again, it's, it's something, it's our baby. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I know when episodes drop, it's probably hurtful. You feel me? Cause like we started this. You feel me? Even in the Gemini Scorpio podcast, we, me and her together, like before everybody else, it was me and her. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Gemini Scorpio. You feel me? So it's like, I know it probably hurt, but at the same time, it's like, bro, I know, I think that, it would be so much more valuable if I continue and we still be together on the end. And then hypothetically, if we don't work out, then I could change the name. I mean, I, I don't know. You know for me, I'm, I, I'm not- it's Positive not no energy, end. positive energy. Yeah, you know I mean? Like like yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like you pitching for a better future. Yeah, that's yeah, it, so. man. I ain't trying to like, you feel me? I don't want to change the name and then now it's done. You feel me? Like, nah, I wanted to keep going until we can, you oh, know, we try. that's so sweet. <laughs> the podcast is a monument to their love. Yeah, man, I mean, you, man, just get your girl uh, back, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. do this every week. Yo, we got yo, shit to do. I hate bro. <laughs> bro, the pun. We got shit to do, man. I, I, got a, I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> yeah. If I had to change the name, okay, what would the name be? Toxic Boys Podcast. Toxic? Who would be? Whoa. <laughs> I do not condone that at all. That's well, bad. That's like saying womanizing. Somebody about. said. <laughs> Somebody That's said exactly what it says on the bed. Yeah, so, somebody said it should be a uh, last man standing. That's kind of shady though. Last man standing, nigga. That's, That's a diss towards you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you on the low. <laughs> yeah. Everybody left your dumb man. <laughs> yo, I'd have been offended. Like, yo, bro, what you talking about? Hey, like, yo, that's crazy. Nah, yo, like, your fans is crazy in the comments. section, Somebody said bro. the uh, the soul survivor. Once again, I this don't want it to like, feel yo. like we know what happened more so. You just like calling it like, you know, tuxedo guys. I don't know, like anything. Tuxedo like. guys. I'm not calling <laughs> no, it I don't like that at all. Guys. But yeah. I'm just saying like, don't have it like something that's like a oh, last man's. So like, damn, yeah. we know what happened. <laughs> you know, like, you gotta, like, remind us every podcast that you heartbroken. <laughs> yo. <laughs> but it's like, I feel like in situations like that, because like I'm in a public relationship, but I just feel like, Oh, that shit. I, first of all, I don't suggest this to nobody. Like, never get in a public relationship. Keep your relationship private. Like, mm. shit, like not private, but like, don't get on doing podcasts with each other and fucking shit like that. I just wouldn't suggest. Better said, listen to your homeboy when he tells you this may not be the route you. This go. may not be. The, <laughs> do you know what you're doing, <laughs> bro? I just wouldn't. Because think about it, now we now we beefing right mm -hmm. now. It's like I gotta put our business in the street because everybody know mm -hmm. niggas we play that we already played the social media game right the mm -hmm. social media game is when we start deleting each other pics so i'm pretty sure all the niggas is in her dm right now like yeah i seen you delete that pic mm -hmm. so it's like we already played that game i follow each other so it's like it's already out there like you know what i'm saying so it's like niggas in there like you know what's crazy you don't when you DM me? <laughs> you don't i was wondering like where your girl is like like, like, like because yeah. you be minding your own business. I you do. a good man. Yeah, see? See, business. you just live your life. Nah, that's some bullshit. Cause he's my friend. He, that means he just 
don't fucking support me, basically. What you Whoa. mean? Because Whoa. you would have known it's been fucking <laughs> like I mean, that's just call a spade a spade. We have, uh, <laughs> we have uh, explosion sound effects. <laughs> so, like I said, I want to vote again for Toxic Boys. <laughs> yeah. No. You see, I try to come out again. Like you be mighty your business. No, nigga, you just don't support me because the business is out there. Shit, it's a public yeah, relationship. Like, the fuck is I talking? try to give you an out, my, bad, my brother. Name. But then, and then it's like, yo. Now I feel like I kind of feel obligated. It's like, all right, it's a public relationship. Like, do I gotta go out like a like one of them celebrities? Like, you know how yo, Offset you put together a statement, yo. You know how Offset <laughs> when he when he when he went out to the fucking concert, I gotta like go on Instagram Live. Like, I need my girl. If you shit. do that, I would like That's to be I there. I definitely don't I want to see you do that. For that. The thing about those things, like, this this with that thing. Like, you gotta know but she's gonna accept you out. back. No, <laughs> you gotta know it's a win though. You can't do that and no, take no, an no, L. No, 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 no. It's even better when you don't know because even if you know it's a possibility you're gonna lose. That's what the love is about taking Shut the risk. But they look like a fool. Come out like, nigga. Out like <laughs> in real life, people seeing it. That <laughs> sound real good. You take it out by yourself. You want to house the flowers? Now I got thirty thousand followers that's gonna look at my dumb ass like they're gonna watch him. You know, you know Jay. He's gonna start like, hey guys, and flowers on his lap in the car. Hey guys, man, let you know, man, I've been going through it, man. I'm about to walk in, surprise shit. I fuck around, start crying. Surprise y'all that. You flowers and chanty, you know, you gonna walk with you. The, 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 the fuck out my face. People on it. There's gonna be like 200 people. Let's keep getting lucky. They can't wait till you get there. As soon as you get there, she like. But if it don't work, his DMs is gonna be flooded with chicks that's gonna be like, they gonna be ready to pick him up and carry him to the promised land. Fuck no, they gonna be like, man, you a dog ass nigga. You should have, you should never did what you did to lose her. That's the mm. fucking girls ain't. But they like don't know you nothing. Took out. Girls are savages. What do they know? And a lot of them don't even care. First of all, how, yeah, who do know? I don't. I, <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. We gonna don't talk nobody, about. We gonna talk. Don't nobody about. really know nothing. I'm. I don't know what's going on. Bro. Oh, so you don't know what's going on? That's fine. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I, mean I, 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 I made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like probably like. The, the worst mistake that a man could make, but I mean- It sounds like the beginning of an R&B record. No, not the worst thing. Not the, I mean, it, it's perspective. Tough off, tough off. Tough off, tough off. Tough off, yeah. Tough off, mm -hmm. okay. worst so you, right. tough off. Yeah, but I mean- Cause you know what the worst one is. We watch Insecure, you know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. What's yeah. the worst? Having you a baby, could, probably. Yeah, you could, yeah, having oh, a baby. Having, having a baby, a baby probably. Oh, that's, that's probably the worst. That's definitely number one. That's probably piece. number one. Oh, we gonna talk about that. Chick, that's probably- Definitely number one. Oh, we gonna What's more embarrassing than that? Your boyfriend getting somebody else pregnant. Nothing. Yeah, sheesh. I mean, I can think of some worse things. We're going to talk about they, that. Giving them some STD. Yeah, STD. I mean, I mean, you know that's what I mean? top five. They forever, too. It's a baby. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you stuck with both of them. <laughs> you stuck with both of them. The baby one. Nah, Cook the go away. Cook the go away. Cook the deal go away. Yo, all right. All right. Hey, I, I got something for you guys. Let's let's bring it back. Hey, I got something for you guys. Hey, Pass hey. that down. Man. We ain't even yeah, start drinking yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't even yeah, start yeah, drinking. This is, this is crazy. First of all, got a phone full you. grown. If you don't pour some more liquor in here, it's we gonna be the, here. The it's a, it's the, the start. It's the start of shot. Yeah, it's just a start, dog. It's a show start. Yeah, so I got this. Um, how do I pronounce it? Anejo. I got this from mm -hmm. Texas. I mean, wow. I got this from Mexico. Um, I brought it imported Ooh. into the United States. So okay. oh, I appreciate you, my brother. I shared the good shit with y'all for pulling up. I appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah, oh. Ah, yeah, the, yeah. the good, the good glass. Yeah, you heard it. You heard it. Uh, this motherfucker was it was classy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all doing it right now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like water. That's I got, good. I got some pineapple. See, that's the stuff that'll get you messed up. You sitting here <laughs> thinking it ain't nothing and it hit you. Yeah, I'm not fucked up. But he said the water and I felt. I got some pineapple juice for you. <laughs> mm. I must be an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm crying because it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That pour is even washed. You like you watching yeah, yourself just yeah, slowly. Good that mic hates you. The mic Yo. does hate me. I'm sorry. Yeah, that shit just keep like you gotta help my man. You know this man. shit is bad when it come out like this. Like all right, that's nigga, a lot. You talking about... <laughs> I'm just I'm a sipper. Let's just be honest. Okay. I'm a sipper. a sipper. Hey, so um that's I wanted to get to it. So uh I brought some friends on the show and yeah. I'm I'm glad I can call you guys friends. Uh because that's what you guys are. That's why I look at you guys. Um but I know I know you guys' story a little bit. And I feel like you just like an asshole. So like you, I, I feel like you never went through nothing in your wow, life a little wow. bit. Cause like every time you tell me a story, it's like, it's just like your family and things like that. But like these guys. They That's cause unlike you, I keep my private life private. All right, well. <laughs> I'm straight public. <laughs> right, so, so, nah, so I wanted to, I, I, what I wanted to do for this show is um, just have a moment like of transparency and vulnerability with men. Okay. I feel like we don't see that too much. Okay. Um, and my first question was, have you ever, have you guys ever got your heart broken? Yeah. I got my heart broke twice. Stars, how was you? I got my heart broke. See, I got levels to it. So it's like, I guess like the straight like girl don't want me 
of course, type mm-hmm. vibe, which mm-hmm. is heartbreaking because you be wanting them for real. Right. And then it's like, you know, heartbreak of. But you had a situation that happened? Yeah. You should be scared. Like, Damn. come on, talk to me. I dog. ain't know we go straight. Yeah, I mean, because I feel like y'all have a, y'all have a similar, right. y'all have a similar, y'all have a similar, similar situation, man. man. So it's like, oh, oh, he did? yeah, okay. yeah, and I, that's why I said so I'm gonna keep it a bean. All right, cool. So my heartbreaking moment probably is, um, I, I had a girlfriend, we lived together. You know what I mean? We was doing the vibe and thing. Everything was good, and you know, had a son. You know what I mean? Did the whole daddy thing. Two years. Damn. Then I found out he wasn't mine. Two years. Sheesh, yeah. Two so, years. Yeah, two years. So that was probably the most That's heartbreaking, heartbreaking thing in my How life. How did that feel though? Like, um, it was crazy because you know, you know, respectfully for me, I just felt like I was a certain type of nigga. You mm. know what I'm saying? And I say that just confidently about myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, certain, you, you just feel like certain women respect you or, or fuck with you enough that they wouldn't do nothing that wild to you. You know what I'm saying? But it happened. It was just unreal, I guess. You so when you mean? say when you say that wild to you, right? Like, um. What you mean exactly? You know, you know how girls be just dumb and niggas or, or niggas be feeling stupid. We we got these we got these ideas of how niggas look dumb or oh, yeah. man, but I, I never think that would happen to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. So it happened to me and I was like really angry, like, mm. fuck every bitch in the world. Yeah. Like and it wasn't even needed all that. But you know what I'm saying? It was it was definitely a learning lesson for me. And also, you know, we gotta take accountability. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, yeah, she might have um, you know, yeah, she did whatever, but what was I doing at that time? You know what right. I'm saying? I was being a dog. I was doing what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? And that's the part I was really going to talk about. I feel like as men, I feel like yeah. we, we carry these double standards so so strong, so strongly. And I just feel like they shouldn't be like that, honestly. If you want to, the bad, the, the worst part I think about that story, right? And granted, I wasn't in that story, so I can't really speak from your perspective. You was, I think you was neighbors when that happened? No, 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 no. It was after that. Yeah, but I'm saying I, I wasn't in your shoes. Yeah, no. So like, but the worst part from the outside perspective, I think, is the fact that she knew that it wasn't yours and she was acting like it was. You know what, and I go back and forth with myself about that. Like, did she know, did she have an idea, or did she genuinely Didn't think know. that one or one time or two, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm trying to paint the picture because I don't know. Okay. You know what I mean, whatever, how it happened, you know what I mean, maybe she just genuinely didn't know. Cause I can't see a female, you know, taking she a knew. nigga through two years with a kid and like. She knew. She thinks she knew? She, she knew. knew it was a possibility. She I knew. Like. Why you think Two she years? Knew? She knew. Like, you know, like, I, I say this about, you know, women. Mm-hmm. Like, the most bodies that a woman can have in a year is 12. And this is my reasoning behind it. You should not be having sex mm-hmm. with different niggas in between your period. 12 is still a lot. You're still for the streets. But at least you know that baby is his. So you're telling me that. So how many how many bodies can you have in a year? Um, I can have 100 bodies a year. <laughs> what? That are, that's the double standard. That doesn't make sense. I but don't that, have a period. You don't have a period. But that doesn't make sense. I don't like. I feel like that's that double standard shit. Like for example, right? I don't. I, I don't get pregnant. Okay, but so. if you, I mean, if she's using <laughs> a con, like, I'm confused. That's your, your theory. I, I, what I'm saying, I wouldn't. I would never have that confusion where I don't know who the mother is. But what that got to do with how many times you can have sex as because a woman? Because I, as a woman, so you don't go through that confusion. But at the same time, I don't. Every situation is different. And I say that, I say that like, cause like I said, I really don't know. I, to this day, I haven't talked to her, it happened. I said, we had, went, had our little fiddle, you know what I mean? About to kill her, you know what I mean? As every nigga feel like you about to do in that moment. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, you come to the realization. It's like, you know what I mean? Yo, like you took your L and I just took my L. You know what I mean? I heard, you know what I mean? Did the cry shit, you feel me? It's a real nigga shit, you right. know what I'm saying? But I did shit, yeah. I fucked up. I did all this shit and maybe- So you blaming yourself? No, I'm not blaming myself, but I'm being a realist. Like, would she yeah. have fucked other niggas if I wasn't in and LA so, doing wild shit? If I wasn't keep getting caught cheating in my phone, bitches, nigga bitches in my phone. Like, it's stuff I was doing right. consistently. And that's what, I, that's what I mean by the double standard, right? I feel like, that's why I say that the, 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 the worst part about that situation to me is the two years without knowing, right? Because I feel like the cheating, let's be honest, I feel like we've men, I, I mean, again, I don't know your story, but I feel like we've cheated on women before mm-hmm. and it's like, who are we to be so hurt and devastated that be like, oh, this wouldn't happen to me when I was out inflicting the same pain on so many other women? You feel but me? Like, but that comes with maturity. I feel like, not, but not, you, not, yeah, not yeah. You, got, you got caught every time, right? Pretty no, much. No, no. But, but even her, if you didn't get her, caught, caught though, so I was, I didn't care. What type was, of shit are you on? That's accountability. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Getting but caught is accountability. Yes. So if you don't get caught, it's cool. If you don't get caught, then that's you lying. Like, like he was just. But he didn't get caught on purpose. He got caught. No, he didn't tell. Mean? He didn't confess. Wait a minute. So I if think... you don't get caught, it's I don't get it. Like that's a. All right. So you heard the the they said you can cheat respectfully. Yeah. So like yeah, if you yeah. don't find so out. So because I never got 
caught when I cheated on one of my that's girls. Cheating respectfully. No, it's and not. I think cheating respectfully. Honestly, I appreciate that. You made me still feel so much better about my shit. I, yo, I, I show no, you. No, that's not true. No, no. First of all, no, no. Wait no. a minute. How are you gonna say that? No, that that's how that man feel. I mean, that's. Oh, that's I supposed to care about his feelings now. Oh, I'm not saying you should care about his feelings, but isn't that technically the reasoning? I mean. When you say re- cheating respectfully, in that that's technically okay, what it that's, is. That, you so, don't bring it home to roost. She doesn't get embarrassed by it. Nobody ever finds out. So, so respect is definitely, I feel like, is um used loosely in that context. Not, not even used <laughs> loosely. I just think it's, it's the, depending on the person. Like people, yeah. different people have different perspectives of respect. And if and if I may, uh, the same way you're asking him to think perspectively on his situation, why don't you think about that with the respecting cheating respectfully? Like cheating is a violation. It's so a violation. isn't that isn't that disrespect? It's, it's so there's disrespect. no way you can say that you can cheat I disrespected you respectfully. No, but imagine like, like yeah. imagine uh, imagine cheating and you on IG live getting your back blown out. Then the world can see it. That's, I mean, blowing the chicks back out. I would burning. never have my back blown out. I mean, out. I get oh, that. Yeah, woman. I get gotta, that. I get I get what you're saying. All I'm saying is who are we to like the, the statement you said was I never thought that would happen to me, right? Of course and not. Who are who are <clears throat> we as men to be like this would never happen to me when I inflict the same pain over and over again? Well, wait a minute. We all have a healthy ego. I mean, if you are yeah, a, that's a successful man or if you're a man mm-hmm. that has self-respect and, and you are confident about yourself, mm-hmm. you would never think of yourself in that. Why? Mm-hmm. Would you get up every day and think of yourself as a failure? Yeah, so no. so like, I think, so before we get into the rest of our pains, right, and our heartbreaks, honestly, I think, um, I think, uh, my bad, just a fucking pet peeve of mine. I'd be like, what the fuck? But yeah, I think, uh, if I had to be honest, right? I think it's partially PTSD. And I say that because, you know, or survivor's remorse. And I say this because I've been that guy smashing a girl with a boyfriend. She picking up the phone saying, I'm busy, or uh, mm. just some weird shit saying, um, hey, give me a second. I want my girls. I'm going to call you right back. I've been that guy on the other end, right? And you've been watching, you be laughing at it on the other end because right. you're not that guy, right? Right. So, but imagine. You is that guy. That's what I'm saying. So now <laughs> that like, so now oh. that I'm so now that respectfully I'm a man or whatever you want to say, I I'm a man, somebody's man, uh, it's like I've done that. So that's the worst thing I would want to happen to me. But however, this is the flip side. Because I've done that, they say karma is what goes around, comes around. Um it's like I'm intentionally preparing myself for that happen. So it's like I've came to the realization to be honest, right? And it's my in this last relationship. And maybe I shouldn't say this public because I don't want her to have an excuse to do it. But I've told my friends this. I've told my friends this. I swear to God. I'm like, yo, if my the worst thing my girl could do to me isn't cheating no more. Like when I was young, you know, they say when like when you was a boy, you thought I was a boy until mm-hmm. you became a man. I put mm-hmm. it with my child's weight, with a thing and whatever like that. Mm-hmm. As a man, just to be honest, that's not the worst thing my woman can do to me now. Like if, if my woman was to ever cheat on me, I probably would forgive her. Because depending I, upon the intention. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What? But I, I only say that. I say that. I, it might sound crazy, but yeah. I say that because again, me being a grown ass man, I've done that before, and I've like I've made that mistake before. You know what I'm saying? Like, so who who am I not to forgive when I want to be forgave? Not saying I'm 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 waiting for this to happen. I'm not saying this is why I right. want this to happen. I'm so, not saying that. Before you jump down his throat, mm-hmm. you had to understand that. In the space that he's in right now, with this very vague situation that we're talking about, you know what I mean. But every, not even this situation. If you're if you love somebody, and you know that they have a tendency to react negatively, he what he's saying is he's preparing himself to for his woman to respond to his indiscretion, whatever it is, and forgive her for it. Ahead of time, like yo, I know you might step out. I know <clears throat> something might happen, or you might want to slice the tires on the nah, car or something. Not even that though. I don't really feel like that. I, if it's t- from the space <laughs> of, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you this. So what you feel? What you're saying is that you don't feel like your girl has a has a right to respond to you. I feel like y'all not together now, right? Right now. So she literally can do what she want, right? She could. The only thing, and it's just me being a real ass nigga. If I want my girl, if I want my girl back, right? If all it takes you is to really get one off and us be even while we on a break, and I don't know about it, I definitely take that. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, shit. Oh, 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 oh. shit. But what if she wants you to know about it? Would you be cool? That's, with that? that's fucked up. I'm cool. Yo, with she it. gonna go fuck big dick this girl and then she wants you to take her back. Girls do. She gonna fuck a rich nigga. Girls, 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 girls a, a get back even with you. 
just for themselves. She gonna, no one else will know they got even with she, you. Like she's not gonna, she not even gonna fuck. Am I, am I wrong? Like she not even gonna fuck a regular nigga. She'll fuck a rich That's nigga. Real shit. She gonna right, fuck right, a rich right. nigga on a jet. Like fuck it. Like I can't fuck it. Like as a football player, somewhere it's gonna get a jet. We are gonna fuck on a jet. I've never been on a jet before. And she gonna come That's back. That's what I did. She gonna come back. Still have you her back on your knees. Well, that, that would hurt. Mm. Like, and then she's like, probably, you right? Y'all didn't hear that 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 Tory Lanez free stuff. That probably would hurt for real. And you know what women do? It's it's called hypergamy. You know, women they like to cheat up. Yeah, you know when men cheat, it's, you I know, cheat just to get my shit off. Yeah, like, women, they, we don't care. I regret that nothing. shit the next day. Like, I'm we cheat for the feeling. Completely out of any kind of assumptions <laughs> on what women do. So right. he is on his own so, on that one. Nah, no, no. Nah, nah, all I'm saying is confirm denial. What, be a part of. Nah, nah. Let's 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 let's. Cheat let's, up. let's <laughs> do I sound crazy? Though? Why would they go no, to another dude? No, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about him. Why would they go to another dude that got less than their current dude? Why would they do that? Same reason a nigga would go to a woman that got less than his current woman. No, her ass fat. Yeah, her, she, That's it. she's pleasant to be around. She looks fun. She doesn't nag me. All okay. she wants is Air Forces. Like, it's real <laughs> shit going on out here. I mean, but I woman, mean. <laughs> so look, women look at sex as like a a car. Men look at sex as like a, a parking space. Facts. Oh, I can fit there. I can see that. I can fit there. That's a good one. Woman. This is convenient for is me. It, is it safe? Is it reliable? Does it have airbags? Okay, so that's if, not even if a bad. I mean, that's not, not even all women. That's not that wasn't I know, bad at all. <laughs> Once again, I said in the beginning of this show, we trying to call it the Toxic Boys Podcast because y'all going crazy. What <laughs> he's crazy? trying to do is so figure crazy? out what he's not saying is he's trying to figure out either a how to save what he currently has or how to transition out of what the situation. That's not is. what I'm trying to figure out though. So for the sake of uh, no, I'm saying for the sake of conversation, I'm having a real conversation outside of my relationship, right? I'm saying for podcast sake. All I'm saying is. As a man, understand it might be survivor's remorse, right? I said, as a man, because I've done the things that I've done in the past, who am I to not forgive a woman for doing the same thing to me that I've done to other women? Period. Point blank. Period. Her, but it don't have nothing to do with wait a minute, my you situation. Forgive her, but you would stay with her, yes. or you would just forgive yeah, her. I would like, stay with see, her. See, that's why I'm nah. having the trouble at yeah, Jay. No, because I know it's hard to believe, but bro, how many times have you cheated on a woman and she stayed? With, she stayed with you? How exactly. Many times? I'm not mad about how many that times? idea. But you're saying that she, y'all can get back together and she cheat on you, and you be like, ah, you got me. What's the point of getting back together <laughs> now, see, if that's what's going that's on? That's one. That's not what I'm saying though, because again, I'm not talking about if she needs to get her. Saying, yeah, let you get your, look, go get your rocks but, off but to yourself because women ain't gonna tell you. But time out, time out, time out. It's not like she's gonna time out, time you. out, time the fuck out. Listen, what I'm saying to y'all, I'm gonna say this again. I'm not talking about my relationship. I'm, I'm saying, not neither. You just said getting back together. We we what? talk. If you, any girl, well, not you just, period. I'm talking no about you basically said that. You just saying a woman in general. I'm gonna forgive her and take her back. I'm saying a woman in general at my at my stage as a man right now, right? A woman in general. If I had a woman. And she cheated on me because what I done to other women in the past, I would probably forgive her because of my own. I don't know how would you want to say it, guilt or remorse. Like yeah, I have crazy. to say, that. that's all I'm saying. But what he's saying is crazy. he doesn't agree. He finds it to be. He said, "Why y'all get back you together? Sound if, crazy. If you, if, why would if you, you even forgive her? You sound like a simp. forgiving her. Like just let her get her rocks off and come back when she's ready." But. You see, you still saying come back as if it's a current situation. I'm talking if I'm with a person, if I'm with the oh, woman. Oh, you saying in general, if you were the person. That's what I just said uh, uh, in general. Okay. I'm saying, no, okay, wait, I, I don't even know. Saying. I said what's in general. You did, but to I'm me, what's the, difference in, thinking. what's the difference in the nuance between so, you, you together and then y'all broke up temporarily to come back together? Like, because again, let's say if we're together, right? Uh -huh. so breaking up is already some things done. Damage right. is done. We already got pain or whatever to be, hypothetical, whatever the case may be, right? Okay. I'm saying a fresh relationship. All right. No. No baggage, no 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 hurt, no oh, nothing. Oh, so there was no infidelity and nothing no going infidelity on. It's just y'all having happy days. We have, and you're okay with that. I'm not Jay, saying I'm okay you with it. You're going to take her back. You're okay. I never said I'm okay with it. I you're never not said, taking her back, Jay. I never said I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah, you're not, said, you're not said, taking her back. I feel like y'all not hearing me. What is wrong with you? I said y'all not hearing me. I feel like y'all not hearing me. I said, say it clear, real clear so everybody can hear. Oh, my God. Go. Because of my past and the woman that I've hurt. Yes. The way I've hurt them. Yes. You deserve to be hurt If If, no. But it might be, but that's a real thing. Y'all acting like that's not a real thing. That might be survivor's remorse. So you're looking for her? I'm not saying I'm looking. I mean, I might be looking for her, but I'm saying that if it was to happen, because of what I've done in the past, I probably would forgive her. When did woman. you come to this conclusion? Because I know you, Jay, you wouldn't take no girl. Back. I wouldn't, and I'm a different person now. You're different now. Something Wait a minute, why, why are you different now than you was? Two years ago. Because yeah. I'm a, bro, First of all, no, from, no, 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 no. That's an easy out. I'm not giving you the easy out because easy I'm a out. grown man. This ain't right, a, wait, what, this ain't a what, therapy what, session. All right, what, all right, I'm, on a serious note, all right. what has transpired in your life to put you in a place where you're telling me without any kind of explanation, a woman cheats on you and you're willing to forgive her? Why all of a sudden now you would do that, especially knowing that you have options? Okay, um, because this is my first time ever being in love as a grown ass man, and what I mean by that is I never really understood. 
the love and, and it goes back to my question, right? Well, it doesn't because this is before I even felt like I, I was hurt. Mm -hmm. Being a grown man in love is different. I'm thinking about marriage. I'm thinking about future. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about our life together, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about how I can be a better man to make us a better whole, right? So you cheating on me. I know what, where I was at when I cheated, right? And again, that's why I said it depends on how, how she cheated, whatever. But like, I know where I was at when I cheated. And if you cheated on because of hypothetically, I don't tell you you're beautiful every day. Or hypothetically, I um I don't know, there's a reason for everything. If you cheated on me because of that, I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror and like, damn, so maybe I did this and I'm, I'm lacking something as a man and you probably lacking something as a woman to make you do that. You might be not, not irresponsible, but um I don't know, some child is something like that, right? Mm, okay. And you got some growing to do. I want to grow with you as a, as a grown man. I'm looking at marriage as growing with somebody. I'm not saying, okay, cool, we're together. You can cheat on me and I'm okay with it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in a vulnerable, transparent conversation with a woman that's a grown woman and a man that's a grown, grown man and what I'm looking for right now, if we were in a relationship and my woman was to cheat, depending on why she cheat, I probably would take her back at this moment. Well, when are you finding out when she cheats though? Like, what you? I don't know. That's why I said depend. I don't know. I'm just saying my thoughts. So, when I was 25, if you asked me this question, it would I be know. absolutely no. Period. I absolutely know. Right. But, but now I'm just saying it depends. Because you, it's hard for us not to have talk about your relationship in this conversation. It's not. It's because not, we're not going to talk about relationship. We don't have to. The love you're talking about is because is the love you are missing right now. Mm. No. This is the first time in real love, right? No, no. What he's saying is, is that the the after effect of what is a part of his life right now right, has helped him grow. Yes. Okay. So he's, because of what he ha is experiencing now and okay. what he's experienced over the last, okay. well, y'all been together, what, four Three, years? Four almost, years? Yeah, Three, four, four years. years. So that he's he's evolved to a place where if, if there's an acceptable reason for the cheat, then he's willing to forgive and move on. Especially because, again... I've known the dirt and wrong that I've did to other women. Period. Okay. Now, if I may, that's 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 that, that doesn't mean that you had to accept the fact that you know your woman. This woman ain't shit. Uh, hold on, give him an opportunity to explain why. Why, why, why. Why is that? Your girl could just not be shit. Can we so talk can about I ask that? You, yeah, that's. Can I ask you a question? What? So hypothetically, right? Let's say you you you're a street nigga. Yeah. And everybody always say my analogies are bad. Fuck y'all. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're a street nigga, right? If you kill somebody's family member in the streets. And they come back and kill your family member. Do you not understand why they killed your family member? People or, keep dying though. That you know it don't but stop. Yeah, there, I mean, right? but that's does that not happen in real life? Uh, okay. What right. So are... all I'm saying is you probably will understand, even if somebody didn't kill your family member, right? But if your family member got killed because you were in the streets, you probably won't understand because this is the street life. That's what you signed up for, kind of. Not saying I signed up for that in a monogamous relationship. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying what how, how life works in karma. Well, I, the, on, see, that's a very nuanced discussion because it's not easy to say, well, just because, well, you shot my family and I shot yours, then now we had to understand it. No, it depends on how evolved the person is, how much perspective they have. Like if they are a person that grew up on a block and they ain't never knew anything but that block, they're never going to understand none of this. Right. They're going to be but like- I'm saying if you are in the streets though. The only thing is any, any, any infraction against them means more aggression against the person that caused the infraction. So that means that, yo, if you kill my mom, I don't care what I did to you. You kill my mom. I don't care if I killed your cousin, your mom, your sister. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to try to keep going until everything is eradicated. And yeah. even then, it's still not forgiven. Still it's, not forgiven. I did what I did and it's justified right. only because of limited understanding and limited thinking. Right. Now, us being educated individuals, you know what I mean? We have the, uh, we have the ability to step back and see that, yo, there's no benefit to this. So can I ask y'all something? Yes, sir. Easy. Guys in the street that get killed versus innocent people that get killed, mm -hmm. right? Do y'all not, honestly, do y'all not look at it differently? If somebody was in the street, he killed so many people and he got killed, do you not look at it like, oh, I mean, he had to come in? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So if I was a cheater for so many years, and I, it never, I, I never, mean, no, I get that. That's all I'm saying. But you, the, the fact of you getting cheated on and accepting and taking your I'm not saying, different. listen. Go ahead. Is different than you accepting and forgiving. Forgiving, there is no forgiving in the streets. Let's be real. It's a domino effect. You knock my domino down, the motherfucker's gonna keep going. So you tell so, me, if what? you cheat, if hypothetically right yes. now, right, if you had a situation, yeah, and I don't know, whatever it can be, you made a mistake, you cheated, you wouldn't want to be forgave. You know what? And and, and I don't know why we're not talking about this. <coughs> Let's not act like niggas don't get away with hella shit. When but that's what I'm. That's that's what I'm saying. Whoa, 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 but that's society. But that doesn't, that's not a, that's not a sales point for, for why we should be forgiven. But nigga. no, no. You all I'm saying is you do fucked up shit anyway, so it should no, be all I'm good. I'm just saying like it's a the acceptance of of being forgave for a man is 
easier. No, like women that's literally that double no, 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 no. shit. That's no. not the way you should it approach is. this. I'm not, listen, listen. I'm not speaking life. as a man. I'm speaking as in general over the society. But you're a man. I, so what, what, what I'm saying, saying is from a this third is... person what I'm trying to do. And I say that because we, we don't even got a female in here, which would not be spoken. But even that, like, you understand that guys are forgiven more than women, right? Is it not right, society? But that's my thing. But that's... Ex it's that's fucked my up. Po that's my point, it's though. Up. That's my point. Okay, cool. Guys are forgiven more than women, so I yes. want to be the man who forgives a woman. Period. That's feminine that's energy. That's all I'm saying. It can be. You God bless you. you. Yo, you never I'm not mad at that. If you need to take him outside for five minutes, it so is feminine energy, though. It is though. It's yeah, feminine. It's, that's it's feminine. feminine energy. It is, but men, but men has. Feminine Wait a minute. So forgiveness well. is feminine energy. Yes. Yes. It's being disrespectful. It's not masculine to forgive. No. Read Honestly. the way of the superior man. Now, I'm, I'm being serious. Like some things are like, for example, um, trying to being being somebody that wants to fix things. That's a masculine trait, mm. right? Like that because that's what men do. It's nothing wrong with like like love is a feminine energy, but there's mm. nothing wrong with a man having feminine energy. Like it's just I think when it's when today's society that is like we're so scared to embrace the other side. Like bro, just like I said, like, I can come to my man and say, bro, you look good. It might be a feminine energy, but that don't take nothing away from me as a man, period. Your outfit, I mean, you look good in the outfit. Most I know I can say you look good as well, and I'm, all right, I'm good over here. I'm saying it's the direction of how it's said. I, I, I mean. Nobody would care if you, like, you say, yo, I <laughs> mean. Yo, y'all, no, you, you, you come to any nigga if, and be like, yo, you look good, yo. If I not any nigga, I ain't. <laughs> look, nigga, you my, you my look, bro, bro. If you come to me yo, and you just straight tell me I look good, right I'm now, definitely like, 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 what? Like, it's what not exactly? like he said nice dick over there. Hey, yeah. Wait a minute. So look. Hey, yo, yo, he just said nice. I got, I got a, a boy dick in this, Jay. <laughs> I gotta say something for the ladies. There's no dick involved. Go I, I gotta say something for the ladies out there. So, yeah. ladies, um, one, if if a nigga cheats on you, you don't have to forgive him. You don't have to forgive him. You can him. leave. You don't. You can. You can leave. You can. Just because you forgave me after I cheated on you a thousand mean times, forgive you. Doesn't mean you get to cheat on me one time and I gotta take you back and you're gonna bring up. It doesn't. Oh, no, no, no. we even. No, it no we not. No, it doesn't. It, I mean, that's that's facts, but that's with anything. That's with like. Things that happen in relationships, right? So, for example, and this is this is a, this is this made me snap out of it real quick, right? My situation right now, I did something wrong, and my lady was talking about it, and I wanted to bring up what she did wrong, like a while ago. She said that. She said that. She said you should have dealt with that when that was happening. You decided to move forward just because you wanted to forgive me for that. Don't mean I gotta forgive you for this. And that's okay. a great example. That's a fact, though. I got my hand raised. What, bro? So, all right. In the game of life, I, I say it like this. And and as a, and as an older person, we set the rules for what we want in our in our world. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got an individual world. When you bring mm -hmm. into a relationship, y'all combine y'all words together. Y'all need to create a playbook for how y'all want y'all relationship to work. At the end of the day, everything we talking about. It's just really just what we accept to be okay. If he wants to forgive a girl, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. But to, like, the only thing I want niggas to do is be consistent with whatever your belief system Facts. is from beginning to end. Facts. Because that's what makes you a real nigga or yeah. mm. that's what makes you a true person. So, like, okay, if, OG. If, if I'm willing to be forgiven, then I need to be forgiven in the beginning and I got to be forgiven at the end. Facts. I can't just be can't flipping up. It, yeah, yeah I, I can't. Flip, and you need, the only thing you should do is demand that your girl, whatever she is, demand stand on that from beginning mm -hmm. and stand on that at the end. Don't be trying to flip flop. Now, there's and consistency. Room. Consistency. Mm. There's room to evolve, mm -hmm. meaning that your opinion can change based on experience, mm. but that needs to be explained. Mm. It needs to be explained and understood so that way things don't mm. flip, they flip and go crazy. What? And I think the argument that we all are here is we don't want to be tricked. The, the fear is as a man is that I don't want to be used, manipulated, or treated outside of the level that I Any should be human. treated. Now, when you... Okay, do I need to... Okay. So when anyway, your glass is empty, you get filled. My nigga. So uh, <laughs> as long as you're not doing those things, if you're not manipulating me, you're not disrespecting me, and you're treating me within the place, mm -hmm. then the conversation can move forward and the relationship can move forward. I just don't want us to get too far off. Nah, the I mean, I'm cool with us being toxic and having fun, but let's nah, not get crazy. So we were talking about um, uh, heartbreaks. Heartbreaks. How did, how did you, your, your heart get okay, broke? Okay, so boom. I'm still legally married. Lit. Um, Legally married, legally. Okay. Um, congratulations. I don't not think a, so. Not a congratulations. We're going to the strip club. Let, let's, let's listen, let's listen. Okay. Um, been with, with this woman, damn, with this, pouring, what, yo, the so liquor is pouring. The and he's sorry, because look, this is about this conversation. Like, about, this conversation is about to get heated. Um, okay. okay, so I'm with this woman, my wife. I get down on one knee for this woman, marry her. Can hey. we pause? Uh -huh. I'm sorry, because I know you. Yeah. I want to paint a picture real quick. Mm -hmm. 
So this guy is the wildest guy I've ever met. I thought that I was pretty wild. I, I thought I was pretty good. I thought I got a decent amount of business yeah, for me. I'm being honest, you're giving this respect. Wildest nigga I've ever met in my life. Um, so we started, we started, uh, we had uh, some this thing called the Necro Mafia. It's, Necro a, it's, Mafia. A, it's a fraternity thing, right? Like we were part of it, we created it and whatever. And this guy just was a animal, slut, fucking dog. There it is. So listen, did you he claim had, this with him before the no, show? No, listen, no, listen. He had, he had, you know how we got OnlyFans? He had um, private Snapchat, basically the pre OnlyFans before OnlyFans. I had OnlyFans before OnlyFans was OnlyFans. Facts. No cap. So he was a wild nigga and he got married and was faithful. I just wanted to paint that picture. Okay. You can continue. I'm sorry. So did. That means a lot though. That means a no, lot. That, yeah, she no, let you keep the private snap going while y'all was married? Um, she was on the private snap. Mm. All right, continue. That yeah, means yeah. that's a that's a perspective that's, you, you need are, to be known. You're a real nigga. That also is, it, yeah, you the man, go ahead. All right, so boom, right? So we married, I'm being a husband, mm -hmm. you know, paying all the bills. She ain't got to worry about nothing. Repeat she that again, work. brother. Repeat that one more time. Uh, being a provider. Mm -hmm. Paying all the bills. Paying, paying all the bills. Too, okay, all right, I want that to be Can that make me a good husband? Damn, shit, I'm lacking. That's why I probably, I'm a, Yo, shut up. Right. Oh. You know so, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing what I can. You know, when we still having fun on the weekends, we going out. We hanging out, we partying, and you know it come to a point in time where I'm like, look, you know maybe you should um join the military. I'm in the military. I told her maybe she maybe you should join the military. So she joined the military, so that she can you know start making some money. She did the reserves, but it's cool. Fast forward while she's out in training in Texas, I fly out there to go see her, like July 25th through the 27th. I'm out there. You know we do what we do. Next thing you know, in September, she tell me she's pregnant. She tells me she's pregnant. And you know, I talk about controversial stuff on my Instagram all the time. DNA tests should be mandatory. Mandatory. This should be mandatory. And when I got to talking about that, she would like shame me for talking about that. Why people, now people asking me, is, are you going to get a DNA test? Is Eric going to get a DNA test on you? And you know, she was calling me weird. She was like, yo, the timelines add up. Like, it's your kid. Like, I'm like, all right. like. You my wife, um, fine. If if you feel disrespected for me asking for a DNA test, I'm a you know I'm a, I'm gonna let it slide. It's my it's my. She's never gave me any reason to suspect that she was you know doing anything foul. Um, but when she was out in Texas for training, we would go like weeks, like a whole week without talking to each other. This is a woman who's usually all up under my skin, <clears throat> want to see me all the time. Mm -hmm. She's all of a sudden she out there. She too busy. She hated out there. I don't, I don't want to talk. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm just trying to be a man, be a husband, you know, cater to that woman's needs. You know, you okay? You good? You need anything? Oh, I don't want to talk. And mind you, I see I see she on Snapchat. It mm -hmm. looks like she having the time of her life, but every time I talk to her, she hated out there. So fast forward, the baby is born April April 23rd, 2020. Baby is born. Um. Honestly, I looked at this baby boy and I was like, man, he don't look nothing like me. But I'm like, you know what? You know, maybe I give it some time, you know, because babies, they look weird when they first come out sometimes. Facts. So, you know, months go by. I'm like, I would, I would look in the mirror, me and little man. And I'm like, can I get something? A nose, a ear, an eyebrow? Nothing, nothing. Um, some dude slides in my DMs on Snapchat. Like hella pressed. Like, yo, yo, I had like 10 unread messages from this dude. I'm like, what's up? He was like, he sent me news of my wife that I never even seen before. Mm. I'm like, yo, what is going on? I ain't, I was like, how much you pay for them? He said, on my six kids, I ain't pay a dollar. I said, you got Damn. six kids? And she's out here acting like this? Like, with you? Like, you got six kids. What you gonna do for her? Um. And then he got to just talking real crazy, like, yeah, that's my little bull, that's my baby. We do, she do whatever I say. I said, yo, he talking to me real crazy. Um, I'm just playing along with it though, like, damn, ha ha ha. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. Like, like this man has the audacity to slide in my DMs talking foul like this. That's because he was hurt though. Yeah, he was hurt. He, he was crushed. That's a hurt nigga right there. Like, why are you doing that? Like, I, luckily, I'm not the type of nigga that's going to kill kill a nigga over a bitch. 
But like, I might you might run into the that. you might run into the wrong nigga. I say I might be that type. Yeah, of guy. that's, a, that's I'm definitely little, probably that type. I of might guy. have to. Do some <laughs> I'll probably like, be that type of guy. It's one thing if we bump into each other and a conversation happen, but you actively asking. Like he could have kept it player, but he could have hit you up like, "Look, man, this is what the so situation." Found out that that wasn't wasn't right, but that's not what it was. He gloating, yo. So when he sent me them snaps, I ordered a DNA test like the minute later. Online, online, order the DNA you didn't talk test. To her yet. You just, I ain't even talked to her, I just ordered it. Yeah. I, you feel me? So when the DNA test got here, it was like a self swab. I swabbed myself, swab little man, and then I sent it to the lab. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like two weeks later, they sent me an email with the so results. I got an email too. It said 0.00% chance of paternity. Damn. Like, I'm, you had to read that a couple times. I'm right? like, yo, wait, zero? Like, not even. I'm like, wait, let me do math on this. It's, it says zero, but you still like, wait, because one point, you like, look at all these numbers and then say zero, like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, nothing? Nothing? Point three? Mm. I ain't in there at all? So I called her. I called her. And I was like, you know how a woman, you, they always hit you with, you got anything you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. I called her, like, yeah, Yo, you got anything you want to tell me? She said, what are you talking about? Mm. You drunk. I said, mm. actually, I'm pretty sober. Like, you lucky I, ain't I got sober. I, I got. I was drinking some Class A Azul. I was, and I got the email came in. I'm like, oh, you sober? I'm sober. <laughs> like the drunkness is gone. She said she ain't had nothing to tell me, and she was with her friend in New Jersey, who she was in Texas with, and her friend called me. I sent it to her friend because mm -hmm. I want her friend to see how trifling she is, if she didn't know. And then you know she was in New Jersey. I woke up at like three a.m. She was crying to my face, like, I didn't know. I didn't know. It was a one night stand. I didn't, I'm like, what? You didn't know, like you knew you had sex with somebody. That's why I say women should only have 12 bodies a year, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Can I ask you something though? Mm -hmm. You know, from that pain, um, I was, I was painted a picture of like, how oh, you was a wild nigga, right? Mm -hmm. I see you having fun and things like that. Do you think that pain results into more pain as a man unintentionally? Like inflicting pain on other people, like not even on purpose, like just going back to your old ways, being a wild boy, like just. All right, so I'm- I'm Honestly. No, honestly, I, I'm a whole different type of dude now. Like I'ma just keep it a stack with every woman I come into contact with. You're not the only one. But does that, does that make it better though? It, I read it's more I respectful. Think woman, I think a woman. I feel would, like it's much better. Like when you can openly, when you learn as a man to openly communicate what's going on in your life. How is that not respect? Because because okay. that gives that the opportunity for the woman to decide. No, I'm not saying it's not respect. I'm not. No, I'm not saying that Go at ahead. all. However, it is. A, uh, I think that it can be a level of manipulation. Because I'm gonna tell you why. <clears throat> because uh, you know, just man to man, just being honest. Yeah. With you. We do. We we aren't regular niggas. Period. I'm sorry, if I'm gonna just be straight up with you, and there's some women out there that's willing to do whatever because you ain't a regular nigga. I ain't saying we ain't we ain't the top of the top, but we ain't regular niggas mm -hmm. from us from afar. We've been through that, right. and <clears throat> it's some woman that's okay to deal with the bullshit. And I feel like as a man who knows better, even just because just because we can do it, don't make it don't make it right. Just because we can get away with murder, don't mean we should murder. I mean, just just because we can be like go to ten girls and be like, yeah, I got all of y'all online and I'm fucking all y'all. That don't make it okay. And I feel like a lot of times the the actions that we do comes out of hurt, honestly. And I just feel like if we can really tap into our hurt and tap into healing, you know. And I know it sounds cliche, but I feel like if we can really tap into the healing, then we can really become better men. But because but we don't tap into that healing, that's I mean, that's that's really good. That's really beautiful. But <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> But no, it's a we different type of pain, world, bro. No, it like, is. But but wait. you're in a certain space. You like honestly, you have you have molded into this family oriented, thoughtful nigga. I haven't uh, because I made mistakes. That's not get it fucked up. Like no, 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 I know. Let's not know, get it know, fucked know, up. No, no, like I, I ain't no saying over here. I'm talking about from him. Like you ask him, like, does that change? His, does his hurt change? It, of it course probably it does. did it. Yeah, yeah. First. April of 2020. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's past a year now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that first three four months. And he yeah, passed, he you passed away too. The little man passed away mysteriously. Oh, wow. wow, that's super tough. Mysteriously, I paid for the entire funeral as a man. I mean, you know, um, no, no, that's a different type of vibe, right? That's there. a different type. Because this niggas out here who would find out his the kid is not his and Let's turn it back. Leave. Yeah, fuck y'all. Fuck the funeral. Fuck everything. Now and and that's what I fall through because my situation. I feel like I may have done that, but I think I did that more so because, man, I was so embarrassed. And you know, 
she was somebody that I always wanted a girl that was like a certain type of chick. Like, you know, we get girls in certain mm -hmm. times. She fine, mm -hmm. she got a big breath. She can curve, she can curve. She can niggas. dress, you know what I'm saying? Like she, you know what I mean? She was, she was everything I, I kind of wanted. So I worked harder all the time because I feel like I needed to type shit. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like- Yeah, no, nah, we do. Yeah. We, do. We, we, we work towards what the woman we are attracted to wants, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. So, and I was also in it for two years and you know, to my knowledge, because I don't know how he is now, you know what I mean? Respect, you know, like respectfully, I, I do go on her page just to look at him, because it's just, it's just two years is a long time just to right. act like you don't care. Exactly. But it was very important for me to ghost the situation because I'm just, I was just different angry. And I was like scary angry. And I was really like, never been hurt like that before. Right. So I didn't yeah. say anything. I did cut it straight off because I gave two years of everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought, like, like I said, uh, we, we didn't, wasn't sure if he had autism or not neither. So I'm reading books, I'm, I'm looking up stuff. I'm trying to get him tested and got stuff. got a, a lot of time I invested. I invested so much. My mother, we had a baby shower in my house, with my mother, my family. And now we have to act like, and my mother like to this day, hasn't really even really tries not to talk about it. We really, everybody in my family kind of just, we kind of just stopped. Oh no, your family cut cut it off. Cause they through. know, I feel like they think it hurts me yeah. a lot. Okay. But to, to the back off what you said, mm -hmm. like this is a story on even how I got uh, the test. Um, he was really, really light, had really good hair. You know what I mean? The clubs, the spots we used to hang. Yeah, I got good hair, but I mean, shit. <laughs> this nigga shit, I was, you don't need no comb. <laughs> nigga said. <shit. laughs> But you know, my grandfather was West Indian. You know, God rest his soul. He just passed away um, not too long ago. So it was like little things. Like, well, you know, maybe you know, you know, you know. Probably you know. skip my gene. What's the benefit of the doubt? You know. Yeah. you know. So you know, and I, little things. People kept saying little stuff to me and shit. And you know, she had a past that, uh, of being a, a wild lifestyle. Like she was part of the dancing life. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, <laughs> you always okay. respect because I don't never would spend away. Even to this day, I, I wish her the best. But so, so I just saw these things, and I want to. Shout out this uh, Ivy uh, was on the show with Ivy. Uh, was the last conversation I had about it. She was talking to me about it. Like, how you feel? Like, I don't know. She was like, yo, like, let's just go get a test. Like, just go get it. Like, I said, my I'm trying to pay like five something. Just find something I already know, like my heart. Like, she was like, I'll pay for it. Mm. Nobody knows mm. that. So Ivy, you know, shout out to her. Like, she really, because it was hurting me and she saw it. And um, we went there, took care. Uh, I, I, we didn't go together. You know what I mean? She just sent the bread, whatever. And that just was enough for me. I took my son up there. Like, it was just so horrible feeling like I'm about to swab my. Yeah. Because yeah. if it came back right, I mean, yeah. the shit. I, did, I did two DNA tests. The shittiness it feels to be getting a DNA test from somebody that shows is just like, I couldn't imagine. Yeah. So I was just already prepared for that because I felt like that yeah, was going to happen. So, yeah, same thing. Uh, test happened. Um, I was at home. It was 11.06. You know what I mean? Uh, I had just dropped him off because I got him on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I had just dropped him off that Tuesday and it was Wednesday morning. Man, I'm looking at this little email for about at least 15, 20 minutes because it's hella shit on it, first yeah, of all. DNA rubbish. tests are very confusing. Just tell me, am I the daddy or not, nigga? You know what I'm saying? But it's like zero plus 14 citizens. Yeah. And at the end of it, it's this little paragraph at the end. And it says in the paragraph, like second sentence, like you're, uh, the probability of, of, of the test is 0.0% .0 showing the, 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 no, 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 not followed. You cannot be the father. So I'm like, okay, wait, because it says numbers up here. Let me look at these numbers. I'm doing everything because I, I, that didn't make sense. And then at the while, it just, I just broke down, bro, and run by myself, like, damn, like, and my, my roommate heard me, you know, shout out to uh, Joe, he came in there, and he was like, what's wrong? I just can't even talk, I just show him the phone, he sit there, so he stood there for like, uh, sit there for like maybe like five minutes, and then he just held on like real nigga shit, he just sat down and held me and shit, you know what I'm saying, on some real, that's my roommate, it's my one of my best friends, and he just held me and just like, yo, it's good, yo, we gonna get through this shit type shit, and that's some real nigga shit. Yeah. And, I was gonna ask you now. I, no, so, I think I think if you went through certain situations, but I was about to ask you. You're you're OG. Not hold. I mean, nigga. <laughs> but no, nah, I'm kidding. Nah, 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 but no, nah, I'm shit. curious. Have you ever got your heart broken? Not in the fashion that y'all were talking. Nah, but have you ever got your heart broken at all? So we're gonna hold off on you. So I say that because um I've read like my situation, it wasn't like that, but you know. I just told y'all what I want from my relationship, right? So to like go through what we going through, like I think I I came to a a place where it hurt that bad, mm -hmm. right? And I don't think I've ever felt that pain in my adult life. Yeah. And I was just curious, like I wanted to know, like how how does other men how, how does other men deal with it? Because I don't feel like we have these conversations a lot. Like we don't even speak on when we cry. Like, bro, I think I cried like. 
like every day for like I don't even know. Right. You feel me? So my question is a little bit more specific. So, what are your actions after okay, the heartbreak? Yeah, mine was a little different than him. So, she had him. Like we weren't together at this point. We were kind of, you know, we figured out it wasn't working. Two years in, like she just didn't want me for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was another thing that had me crazy because I'm a nigga who's, you know always been wanted for the most part. Like mm -hmm. girls like me, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's what my life has been. So this was weird to me. So that's something else that drove me. Like when she don't even care if she with me or not, this can't be real, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So um, yeah, man, I went to my mother's house, of course. I called her and she left work, told me come straight, yeah, at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, left work and, and she told me, I mean, same thing. She just was like, it was gonna be all right, don't worry about it. She was madder than me though. She was mad. Your mom? My mom was pissed. She was like, how fucking dare, like, you know what I mean? And plus mm. it, was, it was very intimate, like you said, you know what I mean? Baby shower at the house and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was a part of this. Like, my son pictures on the wall type shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And granted, this was about, how old am I now? So this may have been like six or seven years ago now, you know what I mean? So it's way mm. easier to have a conversation. I'm really- But how do, how do we deal with this, this hurt as men though? Because we, we can't, like, how can, we, with it. how can we deal with something that we don't even speak I'm gonna about? I'm gonna tell you what that situation did for me. I speak about it. Yeah, I speak about it now, and I'm not even mad. Like. To her, I'm not angry at her anymore. I, I seen her uh, maybe at the club like three years ago. And honestly, I, I know she didn't know how I was gonna react. Like when I, I mean, cause she she don't know what, what vibe I'm on. She ain't seen me in years. And last thing last thing she's heard from me is when I found out the ki a kid wasn't mine. But same thing with me, I walked up to her. You know what I mean, her friend, I knew her. I spoke to her first, I was like, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, everybody, they saw her stars, you know what I'm saying? And I see her, I, I say, hey, what's going on? How you doing? She said, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? How the boy, you know what I mean? He doing good. So right, y'all think y'all- And so, we moved on. And that, and, and that was closure for me. How did you get to that place though? How did you move from angry to forgiving? Understanding what Jay's talking about, accountability. Because it's, everything's happening for a reason. She could not be a, a, a not shit ass person. Like I'm sure your wife wasn't as a no good person for that situation when she was with you. She was put in a different- Environment. Situ, a, a different environment. That, Encouraged. Where you were not around, you were not watched, and she, you know, it, it was challenged your character. It challenged your character. And honestly, your situation, I wouldn't, I mean, of course, the baby is a thing, but like, you know, as far as you talking about like cheating and shit, like, I mean, that's a hell of a way not to, I mean, not saying it's okay for her to cheat, because, you know, mm. you know, we post it not, but like, that is like, I understand like how you can lose yourself in the army, and that shit happens all the time. Not, I don't know what it was, I'm, the military. Force, yeah. So it's like, I understand that. More so than my situation where you just like, you know what But I wanna say this though, like, and it's like, it sounds like we dealt with it, but did we really heal, right? So for example, I think- um, Healing is growth, correct? I think I dodged yeah, the bullet. But, yeah, but not, so healing can be growth, right? And that's what, so I was gonna go into another topic, right? But for example, we don't really know if we healed until we come across it again. That's when you really test your character. Like oh, you don't know. Come across what? I need, I need the same thing. Pain. The same thing, the same. So you really don't know. I, this is my opinion. I'm not no therapist or anything, but you really don't like, cause. Well, he's not necessarily saying that you're, you're gonna go into another relationship and you get cheated on and you feel like, oh, it's all good. Because what it's what I'm saying before. is, like, you, you saw, when you saw Shorty in the club, that's facing. That's facing it, that's and that's that's when I knew I but, was good. Did your heart is that, jump but is that, but is, Yeah, my heart jumped. But I, is that, is that facing jump. it though? You can see, like you can see a nigga eyes like, like, you know what I mean? But no, I'm saying, no, I'm no, I'm saying is that like, I think you guys think that seeing her in the club and speaking is facing it. I don't think that's facing it. No, facing it is living with it. Time is the only way to heal as men and understanding and, and growth, not doing things again. Like I don't treat women like that anymore. The honest role is the best role. Right. This is who I am. This is how I am. Absolutely. This is what's going on. Because if you give a woman a choice, she has nothing to complain about. Right. We wouldn't say nothing, but they're gonna find something. But no, 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 no. If you give her a choice, she's not gonna. She, what she complain about? I mean, they're gonna find something to complain about. I speak on this healing shit because you know my situation. I was I walked away from my last situation so easy that I never dealt with what happened, right? So like, um, you know, yeah, yeah. So um, so you know, my last situation, I found out my chick was cheating on me. Talking to other dudes or whatever the case may be, she was traveling and shit like that. So that became like a really bad phobia for me. I don't know if that's a if, I, if that's the right word for it. So um, so when I found out, right, I didn't like. It wasn't like a hurt. When I found out, I just left. It was like, all right, bet I'm see you later. And then when I saw it again, it hurt. You get what I'm saying? Like at first when it happened, it's like I'm out. See you later, bye. 
fuck that, you playing? But then when I saw it happen again, it hit differently and it made me react differently. And that's why I'm asking y'all, right? Like, yeah, you say you heal, but how do you know you healed if you Because I didn't smack the see- shit out of her. Nah, girl. nah. It's not, not healing? You, it's not until you see it Am happen. I I'm just, again, I don't know any better, but I'm saying- for- she can't, listen, healing is him not dogging every woman he's been with since the marriage. I mean- How do we know he has to dog every chick he's been with? Just, he's just being honest about it. I'm dogging him. honest now. So you, <laughs> ask you can ask him? Okay. Yeah, have ask you dogged every I'm woman sure, that I mean, you- been involved with? I'm sure you're not dogging the women you're being honest with. But you, you can dog with. what you can dog somebody and say I'm hey, uh, I'm no, honest with you, but I'm dogging the shit out. You can you can dog somebody and be honest. Like what are we talking about? All I'm saying is when it comes to healing, I ain't talking about y'all per se per se. I'm just saying You can't my, dog somebody and you're honest. It's impossible. You, oh my god. That's not true. He's because actually right. No, 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 you're he's actually that, right. Actually if you true. are being completely honest with a person, they have to make the choice to be there or Get not. Bro, the that's not true. Listen, how is that not? If no, somebody listen, chooses to be there, Bro, because listen, I'm sorry, I'm not being a it's simp. It's called consent. No, I'm not being a You're simp. Bro, people. listen, 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 listen. I'm not being a simp. I'm understanding the power. I can't speak for everybody in this room, right? I mean, All I right. know stars. I know his story. Mm-hmm. I'm talking for me and him. Bro, I put this, I'm spitting this shit. It's okay, you ain't here to say listen, that. Listen, listen. I put this on everything, bro. You can dog a woman and be honest because bro, it's a thing called manipulation and that shit is real, bro. You can, yo, women want to be, yo, you can know the type of woman you're dealing with. And if you only deal with these type of women that's okay with it, then mm. maybe something's wrong with you, period. Mm. But I don't a give a fuck. Like, it's, a yeah, bro, like, we keep saying, like, it, it ain't just consent, bro. Like, you can be, you can get consent. Bro, I'm saying this, bro, you, yo, listen, man. That shit ain't cool, bro. And I'm just saying, I'm at a space in my life where it's like, yo, I understand the power that we have as men. And we need to understand the power that we have as men as well, and we and we gotta we can't just okay it like yeah, bro. I love you to death, you my dog, but we can't just okay it and be like yeah, bro, just because they 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 saying okay, you good, you the man, you not. Period. It ain't that ain't cool no more. We off that. Can we get an example of a of bro? A you said all right, I, it's five girls, right? Five girls. Five, five girls. I'm telling all five girls that I fuck with them. I'm dogging. I'm, I'm doing whatever to all five girls, and they okay with it. And it's not all, morally. It's men out here that's doing that, the same that don't thing, mean they whoa, right, whoa, and they whoa, whoa. not telling them. Why, why don't? Why isn't it that? See, what my thing is is that why are women t- being held accountable? I'm sorry, go. <laughs> you say why are women being <laughs> held accountable? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is it my fault that what? you're accepting if me dogging the shit out of you? If, no if, real if, shit. Why is it our fault that they accept? Us being no no good ass niggas and then blame us for it wait, because wait, you know up, better, stop, bro. Stop, stop. Wait a minute, better. hold yes. up, hold up, hold up, hold up, no more, hold, up no. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta defend my man's over here because y'all just keep throwing it on him. Now nah, he's he has the ability. Him. If hold up, if he, he has, even said he dogged. He has. I'm, for, we're talking about for the sake of the example he gave. Okay. If my man books five chicks, tells all five chicks about each other, they all consent to sleep with him or do whatever nasty, right. perverted, That's loving, cool. crazy yeah. shit he wants to do behind closed doors. Why is it wrong for them to do it? Why is it manipulation? And why is he bad for exploring his life? I nigga, say, that's just I living, say, that's my not, nigga. Why don't she just want some dick? That's why not, can't she want some dick? I'm not why saying, can't she just want some dick? I ain't saying dick, that she can't. First of all, Sip all on I'm that. Say, matter of fact, all I'm saying is, bro, no. All I'm saying is, as men, we can manipulate situations that work in our favor. And if y'all disagree with that, so I'm can saying, women. But they, wait, I never, what women do it all the time, it? bro. We're, we're, we're you're we're, making us, bro. You're making your conversation is more so based, Jay, on nigga. You know better. Stop treating bro, women because like because shit. I'm talking like, to, no, I'm talking to men. So just like li- listen, just like when a woman have a conversation and women be like, but niggas do it. That ain't the conversation you having. So the conversation I'm having right now is amongst men. I don't get like, I, yeah, I can say women be manipulative, women lie, women do this, women do that. But I ain't talking about women right now. I'm talking about men. So okay. I'm not gonna bring them into I the conversation. I got a question. I got a question. It's my only example because I'm kind of. I'm, I'm hopefully it's a good example, right? A man has money, right? Right. A woman wants nice things. Right. To get these nice things, this young lady deals with this man in which she gets dogged by, but she gets purses and she gets taken on trips. That's an even exchange. And clothes. Hold, 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 hold the fuck, how the fuck is it an even exchange, nigga? Mm. I'm not, no, listen. we not doing that. Yo, I, you yo, literally yo shit the plot thickens. I'm thickens. not shitting on The us. plot thickens. Bro, bro, oh. it's no way, That's that, we know what that's called? A man who knows what he wants and a woman who knows what she wants. Let exactly. them be. If he's dealing with women, I'm just using because no one else is fine. <laughs> if, he's, if he's fucking with five women and he's telling all of them, look, man, you know what the fuck it is for me, man. Yo, come have a good time. And that's about it. You know what I'm saying? What, what it is. You How is that? It? Okay. If she walked through that door, 
it is no longer my responsibility for the things that she does. And you she know has why? A great she's a grown ass fucking okay, woman. Okay. And guess what? Jay, she just wants some dick. All right, all right, stars. So stars. She just wants some dick, stars. Jay. Stars. <laughs> Would you be okay with your daughter being one of the women? Of course not. But all right, then. So it ain't my right. daughter, period. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, oh, oh. Daughter friends like that? No, no. I'm not mad at it. No, I would rather my daughter know what's going on to want dick. being lied and manipulated to dick. Listen, if you can't accept somebody you love, to be one of them people, then you shouldn't be inflicting that on somebody else. Period. Yo, Jay, who told Point you you was going to feel? This is a terrible right now, I'm not, man. bro. I'm He's sorry. Right bro. Now. Maybe it's the liquor. I'm sorry. It definitely is because you sound ridiculous. Yeah. I don't. You just told us we need to stop what we doing to these women. No, I never, even though they not, really are, even not, if we give them a choice. I never said we need to stop. I never said that. I never said, said that. It? I said, bro, I said as men, we had to be more accountable for our actions, period. What I'm saying is, yo, just because we can do something don't mean we have to. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying, bro, that's just what? a fact, bro. So what you trying cool. to tell me? Fuck it. All right. One day you, when you grow up, you're going to understand. All right. No, 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 One no, no, day no, when no, I grow no, up. No. First of all, oh, hold on, Jay, hold on. First of all, this is the, you only talking like this because you heartbroken. <laughs> no, Nigga, not. if you was still, if y'all was, if Charday was here right now, ah, this conversation wouldn't be you going like wild, ah. boy, because Charday, I had these, bro, hold up. No, no, no. I I'm had worse conversations. as you being so... Nigga, y'all shouldn't be doing this to women. You want to bet? You want to bet? Like, you want to bet hundred dollars? You want to? You want to bet hundred dollars? No, I don't want to bet hundred. I want you to realize. No, 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 my because what, no no listen no 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 listen 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 no listen no listen listen no listen listen I swear to God and, and I don't I can't make this up she will tell you the thing that hurt me about our situation was how it made me look and not how it made her feel I'm being real right now I'm being hundred percent real and so that's the situation you're mad because how it made you look and not how it made her feel. Yes. And I'm and I and I and I might be wrong about that. And, I, and I'm okay. You were super wrong about okay. it. Okay, okay. And I take that. But, but what keep I'm going, telling keep you, is, I want, I want I'm telling you, me, I'm just telling you who I am. Okay. What I did was fucked up. But more importantly to me, I'm being honest, I'm being transparent, I'm being uh, completely 100 percent It went against everything that I stand for as a man, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's why it hurt me. I'm just being like, yeah, it hurt my woman. It did. It's fucked up. But it hurt me more because it went against my character. Because everything that I stand for, everything that I speak about, that was the total opposite. Point blank, period. It was a dirt okay, dirt and dirt. that I feel like that that sin or like that is the only way it's acceptable. But you should definitely so understand I'm, her pain and her yeah, embarrassment. No, I understand. But I'm if saying, it isn't. But I say that to say what I'm saying now, it ain't just because I'm hurt. It ain't just because we got cameras on. It ain't just because we got a microphone. That's who I am. I've grown to be that person because I was, we were that nigga that can put bitches in a group chat, women in a group chat, and be like, yeah. Shout I'm, out to the big happy family. You feel? Shout out to no, the you know. happy family. Bro, I'm, I'm being did it. I'm not making this up. Am I make, we can put women in a group chat and be like, yeah, pick a day for your dick appointment. If you know, you know. Listen, Listen. I'm just, bro. And that's dope. Bro, and that's no, really it's good. not that's dope. That's not dope, dope, bro. No, no it's not, oh, bro. Oh, oh. I don't give okay, a fuck. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. That's let's not have, dope. Let's have and a you new honest? Why isn't it dope? Because you know why it's dope? You know why, you know why it's not dope? I'm going to tell you why. If you're no, a single no. man, nah, nah. I'm why isn't it dope? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why, bro. Because this is the very reason rape culture exists. I'm gonna tell you, what? listen, no, listen, 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 hit me out, Yo, hit me out, no, hit me out, listening. hit me out, hit me out. So we have music videos, right? We have music videos, girls be ass naked and shit, right? Live right, songs. they get, they get it, they get consent, they sign it. Guess what that does to us as boys? Now we grow up wanting that. Now we grow up wanting to call a girl bitch when we don't even understand that this girl consent until being a bitch. So what happens is we grow up trying to live a life that isn't maybe not be for us. And then we do things mistakenly and put us in wrongful situations. And now mistakenly. we got the Me Too. Now we got Me Too going on. Now I'm being like, y'all might think I'm, I'm, I'm bullshitting, but bro, I'm telling you. I'm just, I just don't understand why you just not understanding that girls just want dick. No, man. I do understand. Wait, on, I never said girls in the group chat. Why can't the five girls in that group chat be like, right, right, that's okay. My stance, stars. Don't, my stance don't go against that I, girls I need you to want back. dick. I need you to back down for a second. My, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I need, I need to talk to Jay. My stance, my stance, Jay, Jay, two can Jay. coexist. All right, all right, Jay, Jay. Two can coexist. But you're downing one side. No, I'm not, I'm not downing it.
is you're actually diminishing women's power. Yeah. Stars is trying to actually keep women's power. Yes. And, what, and you got, hold on. I'm just trying to hold men to a... Stop for a second, bro. Go ahead, Stop go ahead, go ahead, listening go ahead. to what I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You are taking away a woman's right to choose. And I'm not trying to be a dick. And I'm not trying Every to... Every woman yeah, that's yeah, trying yeah, to get married. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I know you smile. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. But like, like, let's be real. Like, uh, uh, yo, when you get to a certain age, you may be naive, mm -hmm. but it takes experience to learn. Right. So you have been taken advantage of in situations, not necessarily sexually, but there have been times where you might have involved yourself in something that you ended up taking a hard lesson to learn to help you become a better person in the future. Right. And I'm not even saying that you putting some girls in a group chat or you engaging a certain women in a certain way, as long as there is a conversation. There's an understanding mm -hmm. and there is consent. Yeah. You must stop judging because the thing you're doing, which is the most disrespectful thing you've done, what? is talking about those women that asked to be a part of whatever the fuck y'all was doing or consented to be a part of. You disrespected them by assuming that they were stupid because they went along with something that you brought along. You a man has the power to do so. Bro, all you I'm saying is manipulation. Like you're like, bro, something. I, no, so no, those women have it's not like adults. Y'all like didn't walk in a room with women and tell them and, and put all right, them dog, dick. You, you asked them, like, hey, who wants so, a dick appointment? So bro, can I, they chose so, all right, can, and they sorry, came and got dick. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Has it not been women who just wanted you because you was a rapper? Yes. Could you not influence upon them an uh, opinion because you were a rapper? Yes, but guess what? Uh, no, ain't no but. No, listen. Yes, but guess what? It's still consent. They right? going on with it because they like me. And okay. is, is that wrong or right? I'm I not saying. Guess what? I'm not telling them to do any of this. I'm, I'm not saying you, you are, bro. But knowing that that it's some woman, I'm not saying. Listen, two can coexist, bro. It can be a woman who is okay with this and give you consent. I'm not saying that that don't happen. But I'm saying it's also another side of it that woman, some woman. Can only want you because of what you have and what you and and so and, in a sit okay. Come let you finish. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's some in a situation where a girl is dealing with me because I am a rapper, right? And you feel as though I have more power on that because she looks up to me for a lack of better terms. Mm -hmm. Who's wrong? Me for having manipulation quotations or her for chasing me because I'm a rapper? I mean, y'all both can y'all both can be wrong, but what so I'm why saying why am is, I getting slapped no, on the wrist not, because no, she chasing I'm, rapper? I'm not slapping. What y'all missing is I'm not slapping me on the wrist. I'm just talking to you because this if this was a woman, if this if, if this is a group of women, I'll be talking to their stance. I'm just talking to the man stance of having that power and understanding my power. That's should, all I'm saying. The only thing like, I would do if there were women here, I would say it's y'all responsibility to sit these young ladies down and to give them more perspective so they can make better choices. It's not, That's, you, wait, what you're trying to do is limit your friends from being able to pick the fruit from which they have right, been able I'm a, to I'm a, cultivate. I'm gonna end it. If y'all think so, all I'm saying is, bro, we gotta just be more more responsible with our power, period. And, and I mean, I, if you think that's wrong, I'm sorry. No, 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 You worded it tricky. Okay. But yes, exactly. men have to respect all women until they, the woman shows that no, they no, are no, a different no, no, type no, no, of woman. No, no, there no, is no, no until. Sure you, not, you, not respect, you respect you respect all women, women all regardless. Time. There you go. Until she disrespects you. Ain't no, or, ain't it's, no it's until woman, then. It's, it's a woman's job to disrespect herself. Yes. It's, not, day, it's not my job to so, raise so, so, somebody else's so, daughter. So, so, I, can, <laughs> can somebody, I can respectfully knock your ass the fuck out. But still, I'm saying. Can somebody look up the word moral? Like morally correct or ethics? Like I'm asking because yo, you're right. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be better, but society gives us the power. So if you so why we have if you saying we that we had can't a power. be better. Women had a power. I mean, women got a pussy, so they do got yeah, a power. That's a whole other conversation. Women definitely, but what I'm power. saying is, as men, you're coming at us like we got to do better as men on how we treat women. So you said that's a not whole. a true statement. That's a very true moral. Statement. A lesson, especially one concerning what is right or prudent, that can be derived from a story, a piece of information, or an experience. Basically, what is right and what is wrong. Moral. Right. But I, if a I, female I feel like telling women the truth, if a female, is, female no, is no, giving me, I'm not telling women the truth. I'm not saying you're wrong for that. I'm not, See, I'm not the saying. the thing is, that's based on your perspective and what you were taught. What's to say that what his perspective and what he's taught is not right? So like, shit, in certain I mean, I mean, cultures, well, yeah, yeah, in yeah, certain cultures, certain religions, yeah, yeah, facts, 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 that's true. It's, it's supposed to be that way, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, I mean, and that's what I'm, I'm just saying. saying. But all I'm saying is, again, I'm not saying that that can't be true. I'm not saying that it can't coexist. I said that it could coexist mad times. And it's I'm just saying we just got to well. do better We got to do better, but at the same do time, do better? women got to do no, better too, Jay. No. Yeah, they do, no. but that ain't, that ain't my what conversation. What do I have right to now? do better? <laughs> but okay. having this conversation, we are, men are looked at as what you're saying on, on point already. All the time. Right. Women aren't. And so you're having this conversation with four niggas 
it, it's coming across like, yo, niggas ain't shit. We got to do better. But it's like, right. everybody has a choice on how they handle right, shit. Right. So you got to just have right, disclaimers. So do we have to do better as men? Yes. Do we, do we womenize, or not we, do men womenize women? Yes. But yeah. like he said, those music videos I shoot where she's shaking her ass, she it's got paid hit. and she signed the paper. Is it my is it my place to tell her? You know what? You shouldn't be shaking your ass in here. <laughs> you should go. To I don't church. go to the strip club. But wait a minute. Up. I don't go to the strip club. But, 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 but wait a woman hundred dollar bill and tell her to go why, home. why? My question is, why the fuck is she a bad person because she came and shook her wait, ass in the video? Wait, we ain't saying that though. We love. I love I women. Enjoy. I love the female figure. Bro, all I'm and saying is, and if I see the female figure gyrating on the video, it's the shit. Listen, if I came off and said anything else, my 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 point is, we just got to be careful. At the message that we're painting, that's it. That's it, bro. That's, I'm and not. I think that comes not, with every man and the maturity of the experiences in their lives that put them in a certain place. Jay, you feel like this right the fuck now? If I asked you, we had this conversation two years ago. I wouldn't feel like this. I wouldn't. And be dragging. Yeah, and no, I'll be dragging like a bitch. Like, so I'll be dragging like shit. I'll be dragging. It comes Let down me to ask this. you this question right now. Two we're weeks from now, or let's bottom. just say. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, we all get in trouble like a motherfucker. I ain't in trouble. I said nothing wrong. Did I say something wrong yet? No, 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 no. I'm not trying to say that at all, my, my guy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I think I'm the favorite right now. With this wow. No, 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 I'm the whoa, favorite? Whoa, whoa. What type of... <laughs> I'm the favorite. Yo, y'all keep pouring when y'all got licking y'all glass. I ain't even finished. Um, but I'm going to get another bottle. Don't worry about it. We all sipping and shit. We all sipping. $20? I'm, I'm going to put up. I ain't pouring this from Mexico. <laughs> I'm, <putting laughs> up. I'm just trying to buy a liquor. I just had one more that. Bro, we ain't even. We we had chase. <laughs> I don't really do chasing like that. No, kind of not a good chase with like random. What's the key lane? You know, what Yo, so you, you mix... asked, bro. You asked for this. You complained for this. Cause for I was... like almost an hour, you ain't even touch it. But it was anyway. like 10, 15 minutes. You you you. You but drag anyway, it. We still got right. time left. So we I'm, drag I'm saying later. I just feel like we can do better as men sometimes. That's it. That's and it. That's, that's right. It. And I, I agree. We right. can do better as men. But and if I came off like I was start with us. Let me ask if you this question. Like what does, judging, what does sorry, better look like? If, if, if How would you want him to conduct himself when salty winches come walking through the door? Like, you want us to now curtsy in front of these girls? You want me to propose to every woman? No. What can I do better? What do you want me to do better? How can we be better, Jay? All right. So, as men. No, no, no. To be honest, right? I like that. I think if that's... What are we gonna do? One, I feel like we, we don't have to promote everything. That's one. We don't have to promote so everything. That's Wait a not, minute. I've hey, never seen this about? gentleman promote any I kind never of said, fucking. Yo, you asked me a question. Okay, all right, all right. Y'all keep no, taking bad, it so bad, personal. My bad, my bad. Go ahead, do you think? Right, yo, what else? What else? That's not y'all, else. You asked me a question, so why can't I, I ask promote sister wives? All right, we shutting up, Jay. We shutting up. Go ahead. You asked me a question. Stop promoting what? I'm saying like we promote sister wives, so I can stop promoting being a sister wife. I feel as though women need a helping hand. No, he said you promote it. Woman needs sister wives. Okay, got you. They need helping hands. No, no, I feel you. I mean, well, that's your. I mean, if that's what you. Like, that's your. So I can stop promoting that. I don't like that. If that's if that's what you subscribe <laughs> to, then I can't. So I, I'm not judging you if that's what you subscribe to, right? If that's what you subscribe to, fine. I'm just saying, like, if we're, if we want to be monogamous men, right? Uh-huh. I think we should live our life in that way. That's it. But if you if you don't think that, I'm not judging that. So that, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I, my, my. I don't want to be a monogamous. Right. No. But I'm saying I feel like my message it can it can coexist in the realm of. In so many places, bro. Well, how can I be a better man? Well, how can you be a better man? I mean, go ahead. Go, go ahead, start. Go ahead, start. Come up, what? Muslim or something? I don't hey, know. Man. What, what's the religion that, that do it? I don't know. All I'm saying is, before this, I mean, my situation now, before that, like, you I usually dealt with girls who were like girls. And I've had I mean, two I like different women like in my life that I dealt with tell me their happiest it would be is they had a man. No, I like that. And I feel like nothing is wrong. If you if you a woman who like women, like that's kind of lit, bro. All I'm saying is we gotta do some. All I'm saying is we can it's do better, perfect. bro. That's it. That's it. That's In all, bro. In certain areas, we can do bro, better. That's right? it, bro. Like, that's it. Yeah. I ain't ch- like. Listen. Do you want to be a monogamous man? I don't think no man in here would. If they had a choice of having two, they would choose one. So all right, so cool. If we don't, if we had a choice, why would we do it? What? If we Societal, you said, I don't think no man in here, pressure. if they had a choice to be a monogamous man, they would do it. So if we don't, if we didn't have a choice and we would choose the other side, why do we do it? So he said societal pressure, right? Facts. Women are breaking all societal pressures. That's mm-hmm. a fact. Like women are walking around with their titties. Yeah, we can't hold them to the pressures. Let's just talk about Jada Pinkett and just sat down with Willow and had a discussion about Willow being in a in a polyamorous marriage. Why? Well, who making these words up too? Like who making these words up? So bro? you mean? So let's let's get into it. So let's get into it. So why why is it that if that's true, that no man would want to be in a monogamous relationship if they had a choice to have a woman 
two women. So at why once. is it so many monogamous relationships? Because women don't want to share. Happy monogamous women relationships. have problems sharing. Nah, no, 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 no. It's because the norm of the society, like the greater society, has deemed that this is the way things should be, and they've pushed that narrative, and they've done films, yeah, songs, and all that societal shit. Societal narrative, then, right? It's a societal so a narrative. So a man should pay the bills. Exactly. A man should do that this. A man exactly. should do that. Yeah. And then when we say a woman should do this, a we woman should crushed. do that, we, we are, can't. It's an issue. I mean, we are. We can't say a woman should do, but. Why is, it that, why is it that woman can say we should and we can't say they should? Because you're being a pussy. Because you're so worried about how the public is going to see you and how your followers are going to react to you that you cr you give in to them are you we know, coming at you with their little bullshit. You know what it really is, society, though? Women in our society, regardless if they're chasing money or not, the only way they look at men respectfully is if you are a provider or a nigga mm. with money. Nice like that is looked at, that's Facts. looked at in our world as being a man, a nigga who got money. Well, I disagree because I know Not a lot the, of chicks that take in a bunch of homeless niggas and be that's uh, own giving them pussy, giving them money. And they don't respect them, them though, probably. They respect or the they fuck got, out of or they niggas. May, or maybe they pool of niggas just ain't that deep. Let's be real. Some there women can't get niggas. There you go. Some women can't get the niggas they want, so they so they take the niggas they can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Right there. Yeah. So question, when it comes to morals and ethics, if you know that a woman niggas ain't that deep and you take advantage of that and you know she's going to say, yeah, because her, her pool ain't that deep, is that not wrong? That's fucked up. If so that's what the fuck I was saying. You didn't say that that's at all. all I was, well, that's you ain't, all we I was, talk about a nigga so, who- So, 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 like, so that's what I was trying to say when I say what my nigga- What saying is this. You see a- you see, that's you what I was trying to say. Attractive young lady. Who, uh, who, that's all I was trying to say. Ain't got no drip. Uh, you see her, yeah. and you know she ain't getting hollered at. You give her that. Oh, how you doing? What the hell? And, mm -hmm. and you take out. You fucking. And you, and you tell her. No. And you tell her. And you tell her. And you tell her. Hey, I'm still fucking with other bitches. I feel like that's wrong. So what you she trying to say? Yo, you keep bringing it back to the fucking other bitches thing. I don't like that. <laughs> Let me tell I you something like I don't that. like. No, 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 no. I like that See, man. what He's I'm saying, the point I'm trying to get at That's is that cool. what you're talking about is going against the way nature works. Lions and fucking tigers, tigers don't go after the toughest person in the herd. They go after what they can catch. So you tell me some niggas people. out here that's not going after the bitches, the girl, the woman. The woman that they know that they can take advantage of, bro. Come on, son. Yeah, no, no, no. Bro, old niggas, that's the old way niggas is definitely trying to swoop down on the 21, Not even 22. Just old niggas is young no. niggas too. Man, man, this happened since we remember we was in high school. But when I'm, we was in high school, the and college niggas used to come to the to the high school, and we used to be mad at them niggas. What like, you the think fuck they have? Niggas? What you think the college niggas women ain't have? Fucking money in a car. You know but, why? But, but because saying. women look at that as something that they need. But what I'm saying, that, Facts. But that's my point. So bro. who's wrong, the if woman or us? No, if. Both what? of us can be wrong, bro. Both of us can. If, if, if a man know that woman wants money, I got money, I'm going to flaunt it in front of your face and I know you're going to do whatever I want. I don't think that's morally right, bro. If she a woman who chasing a chick, uh, I don't yeah. think that's morally right. But guess what? She <laughs> going to fucking suck some dick and I'm going to give her some money. And we both happy when we leave. Fuck it. I'm, Ain't I'm, nothing I'm, wrong with that, my nigga. This is the problem. This is the problem. Right right the it. problem is this. Your camera right we here. We all are equal. Your camera right here. Where we at? <laughs> we all are equal. <laughs> Sweetheart, I know what you doing. Asking me for Gucci flip flops. <laughs> Asking me for, you want to go here and here? I, I, I look up the menus. I know what you want to eat. Yeah. It's come. cool. Uh -huh. But when Just the give me that come pussy. out, I don't want to hear nothing from you. Because exactly. you know exactly what you played and what I played. And most of the time, it's not even, I'm, I'm being funny, but most of the time, women literally just want to be or show off like Instagram and social media has made it so fucking unbelievable now mm. women just have to be show off for each other mm. and if they have a nigga other women don't respect it unless that nigga getting money mm -hmm. how many women that you know showing a nigga off and they not a nigga with money how many women do you know with humble niggas at home who may not be paying all the bills but treat her good taking her on nice places how many women you know like that showing off that nigga why you think Russell Wilson don't get showed off by Sierra Sierra posts everything that Russell do for her, but I haven't seen her do anything nice for Russell. And that's some and, real shit. And he's a great guy from what I see. Or maybe she is, but Russell don't give a fuck enough to post it as much. Mm. You know why she's posting it? She because posts. she's a goal. She feels as though, you know what I mean, other women would like to look, oh my God, Russell, I want a, I want a nigga like Russell. Like, yeah. you don't know if Russell beating the shit out of Sierra. He you don't know if Russell fucking like he some not. freaky dicky shit. Russell might be into some old other shit. <laughs> I like the deal no more than look, she I, I, I say this all the time. You know, these women don't really want to Russell Wilson. What the fuck is going on? They I'm don't, just saying, they, these women you don't, don't know man. what's going on. These women don't want to Russell Wilson. They just want their future to act right. They just want their future to act right. Bars. Women, women love a nigga who ain't shit. Let's be real real. And honestly, women don't like good guys 
until they've been ran through by all the bad guys. Mm. Then you chasing the and nigga they 40 who, and they got Then you chasing kids. the nigga with, with the nice car, the, 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 Man, the reliable car instead of the And then car. I don't want to fuck with you, Shawty, because I'm going to go find me a 20-year-old. Why the fuck I want to run through your run-through ass? I'm going to go find a young man. I've had that discussion quite a few times over dinner. I mean, it's really a circle of life. I mean, young women want a, was, a mature man. I mean, look at it. Like you said, through high school, the, the guy that was 22, 23 was picking up a 16, 17 year old, giving her the world. Like I said, just buying the Air Forces and taking the McDonald's. But it was more than we could do because we was walking to the bus with her at first. It was cool then. But shit, she got AC in the fucking Crown Vic back in the day. That was a show. A woman actually told me because a woman, she, she came in town and I, you know, I booked a hotel. I paid for all the food and mm. stuff. And I asked her like, yo, what if I did? What if I made you pay for the food and made you go half with me on the hotel room? She said, I wouldn't have fucked you. That's what she told me. So like- Who's wrong, Jay? <laughs> exactly. Whole time, this is what I really believe. I'm not, but that's me? not what I was talking about you, You're right. See, Again, see, you notice that's how- That's not what I was talking about. I want y'all to notice how y'all not holding his feet to the fire. That's all that. I'm saying, bro. But niggas I'm not, can't do better until women do better and what because I'm, we chasing women so and if women is showing that they want a nigga with money i'm gonna be dressing a little nicer and and you know i ain't tripping on a 150 dollar bill but really i'm tripping on a 150 dollar bill it's like damn we could have we could have did a little six yeah, so, 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 like, so, so if all this happened so so if all this happened right right you do all that let's say you do you did all that right and she didn't give you the box is it not that does that not give you a level of expectation because you know, because you know that she wants this, so I'm gonna give you what you want. And now, in return, if you don't give me what you want because I gave you what you want, I'm I'm upset or something. It you depends don't think that on. Gives, it depends, I mean, to me, in my opinion, it depends on how much good of a time I had. Yeah, if I had a really yeah. good time, she flirted with me, she let me know that it was real. You know what I mean? I don't she got gave a me a fucker to every time I like, exactly. Like so I'm, I'm asking you though. Saying. I'm asking like, you. Bro, shit. Mm -hmm. You a nigga? You fuck, we, we have sex with women. We have fun. Whatever. Realistically. We want to try to get it the first time, right? Of course. But a real nigga going to take the first dinner L mm -hmm. because it's a gentleman thing to do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, next time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the door's way wide open more so the first time. Sometimes you can't do the first dinner and get back in the crib. But mm -hmm. take the first dinner, maybe you just take your nice little cap. Don't even try to go to the crib. Mm -hmm. Just be honest with me. I hope you had a good time. I really enjoyed my so time. So can I ask you a question? And you did. Oh, he about to go there. He about to go there. He about to go there. Honestly, no, no, no. I mean, go ahead. I, don't do get it fucked I'm still a nigga at the end of the day, and of I still course, was I'm... a nigga. Niggas know what's up me. Nah, nah. You the last first hour and a half. No, I was being a mature. No, I bro, I did that. Like I said, when I was a boy, I thought I was on a dirt jet. Oh, bro, podcast, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dark Jackson because I told you I made mistakes. I didn't, I didn't diss and wild shit even into my relationship right now. So I never be dark Jackson because I'm I always on my shit. All I'm saying is when I was a boy, I thought of like a boy, and but when boy. I became a man, I put away my childish way. That's it, period. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like I've been now. If I ain't do this, it's different. Now it's some, it's some levels that I ain't get to yet. Like I ain't, it's some type of bitches I ain't fuck yet. But I'm saying, and that also is a key. Yeah, so but that's what I'm trying to say, though. That's, it's, I didn't, right. I didn't, we didn't, I didn't say you were wrong. I'm we just didn't. You, it just felt like you were just a little bit too much on us on some shit. Like let's mm -hmm. let's be real. We don't talk about the women enough and how much. But they we really, and they a, really promote all this shit. But I'm gonna repeat this again, mm -hmm. Star. I'm mm -hmm. only looking at mm -hmm. what y'all show. I'm gonna repeat this again, though, yes. bro. Again, yes, they do need to be accountable, but that ain't for me to hold them accountable. Why it's ain't it? You because I'm the dick. Why you? Why? That's a good question. The dick. Why can't a black why man hold? How, why can't a man in general hold a woman accountable? Why, why, why like can't this, we do that? that? Why? Is, why do you say hard things shit like this? I don't think it's like that. I don't you're think talking like it's that's like what that. you talking so, like. That. So, so how I look at it like this, right? I look at it like if we're talking about the man perspective, I'm gonna keep it in the man perspective. Now, if we're talking, if I'm amongst women and we're talking about what women do, I'm gonna be like, well, you need to look at yourself. That's what I, bro. I can't make that. That's who I am. Like, like I should even hate it because every time she bring me something, I'm like, what did you do? What did you do? Like that's so. If I'm if we're talking about men. I'm saying what men need to do. If we're talking about women, I'm gonna say what women need to do. That's all, bro. I'm, I'm not at it from mad at that. What I'm spectrum. saying to you I'm is being men, consistent. I think men follow. You say as long as the law. That I think women I was lay. very consistent in this podcast. Yes. Can we, be, can we look at the? Do you agree with it or not? I, I don't. I, the only part I don't agree with is you saying that we can't hold women accountable. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. No, that's bullshit. I'm saying in the conversation that we're having. I'm saying it. even in the conversation we're having, we can hold women accountable. You want us to be held we can, accountable? We can for say niggas are chasing women and looking at what they want. You're talking about holding your daughter accountable. Yeah, you bringing the daughter up. Like, of course, I, no nigga want, want so no nigga want their daughter to be a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like even a hoe that you fucking on, his father, her father's pissed. Yeah, the only her father nigga, is you, mad. If as you shit. cheat on your man to go fuck another, like the only man you are hurting is your dad. Yeah, but my thing is this: fuck all the daughter shit and all that, because you know my daughters ain't gonna be no hoes. 
I'll beat the shit out of both of them. I, whoa, we gonna wanna, <laughs> right. yeah, you wanna take you know, that off. Yeah, take that step all the way back. I'm just saying like, of course, it's about how a man raises a girl. Like a lot of women, I know it's cliche it is, a lot of these girls ain't got no And wives. you know what's crazy about you society? I mean, that's true. Cause that's like, true look, life. are this women is, being taught to be rest. wives? Are women being taught to be wives the way that men, I feel like we always talk about men that's should do fact. this, man should do that. But are women being taught how to be a wife? I don't, I don't think so, just to be my honest opinion. I don't think so. And I do think it's an imbalance. Like, just to be honest, I don't want y'all to think I'm just a pro man by man. Like, I mean, I guess man, like, bro, I do think it's an imbalance. And when you do that, I think men are right here, to be honest. I at think, like, yeah, I think oh. men are at the bottom. I think, to be honest, like, I've said this in my relationship. I feel like it's so much pressure of paying all the bills. It's so much pressure of basically taking care of you. You feel me? When, honestly, if you want to look at the statistics, right? Let's say even like six figures. I don't know where the fuck we think we at, but it's less men. It's probably like, it's, it's a small percentage of people who make six figures, like literally. One so, percent. Like, you feel me? So like we, in, we, we got these, these unrealistic expectations on somebody and you look at Instagram and you think shit is figured out. I think 4% of black men or Anywhere from four to ten percent of black men make six figures. So it's like you want. Okay. It says one bet bet between one and three percent. So whatever black the numbers, yeah. right. whatever the Kevin, numbers Kevin's, are, right? Kevin Samuels doing, doing himself. Whatever, whatever, six wait, whatever, <laughs> listen, whatever the numbers are, right? Yeah. You look at it like that. Honestly, even six figures can't take care of a fucking household nowadays in Maryland, in mm. DC. If you take care of everything for your woman, like house, her car. Make sure food in the house, her little spinach you spree. You're gonna be man. broke as fuck. You was a rich nigga. You yeah, you rich. Man. So all I'm saying is, so all I'm saying is, bro, I I do think it's an imbalance. I'm not lying about that. I don't think you need six figures all, to take care of this. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, bro, I just feel like when we having them conversations, I'm just looking at myself. You feel me? But I do think it's an imbalance. I do think women need to be held at a higher standard. I do think, like, yo, I feel like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be a hundred percent correct. Real in my in my perspective, I think yo, I feel like a lot of women looking at men at, at, for things that they can't even do. Like you want me to do yeah, this for you, and you can't even do it for yeah. yourself. You want me to treat you this way, bro. I so, do. Look, I, say, I, look. I, I feel it. Like trust yeah. me, I'm on y'all side. So look, I I'm get I, it. Like I talk to women with money because you know we always talk about you know, like you know, women strong, independent woman, all that good shit. What do women with money want? Mm. Women who have their own money. They want a man who do simple shit. Kill a bug. And, but, it's about this though. And I, and I dealt with women who had more money than me. That's why I'm saying, I'm gonna say this. I'm listening. That's how it start. That's how it start? That's yeah. how it start. Oh, hell. But guess what? They that get third worse. month? They get worse. When she want. Did this nigga say the third month? I'm just saying, like you dealing with a woman, like I, I've dealt with. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say no names, I dealt with some real a, a, money women, especially in yeah. LA. I've dealt with women who got money, who are popular, who are verified. Like, you know, I done told you so names. So what happened so in the like, third month? You know, shit. Increases. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Shit, I had a jump. You know, she promoting, she doing her thing. She was like, yeah, I'm about to go out to Paris for this. They book me out there for real. You know what I mean? I want you to come out there for me with the weekend. Just being this out there. Bitch, no. You paying? Is she paying? Like, but that, oh. wait. But what, wait, 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 come on, come on, come on. Stay right there. Stay she right wasn't there. gonna Stay pay for the right flight. There. So, Stay right there. and it's not like I ain't got it to go to Paris, but it's like, first of all, I'm a nigga who shoot videos and, and, and who rapping, who writing for artists. My schedule's tight as fuck. Was this a girl? No, this was a chick. I was why, why does woman think just because they can, like they can stop everything they doing? I'm gonna tread lightly. No, 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 I need you to speak. All right, no, no. Why, why, why is it that women think that just because they can do it for themselves that they can expect us to do it with them? Because they have standards, and women have certain standards. If she's making a hundred thousand dollars a year, and she genuinely wants a nigga who makes a hundred thousand dollars a year, guess what? When she says, "Yo, meet me out Paris, so, uh, so you can uh, spend some time with me," guess what he gonna say? Is that what's the date? Is that is, wait? Is that a standard if you're dealing with somebody who's not there? No, because if I ask a woman to come somewhere, I'm paying for it. Right. So why can't so they why, expect why it? Isn't it? Why and isn't it the flip it. side? When she invite him, why she can't yeah, pay why for it? Why she not paying for this? I feel like it was a test. I, want she, I feel like that was a test to see what my didn't money say, He didn't say he wanted to spend time with her. He said <laughs> she wanted to spend time with him. <laughs> hey, all right, well, book the flights. I see you out there. I get it, but I, get, I think also it's like, until that moment, she couldn't really tell, because I'm not a nigga who really flashy. You know what I'm saying? But I, shit, I, I do well for myself. Did you but, go to Paris or not? Hell no, I ain't go to Paris. I asked you. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say yeah. And, and guess what? And guess what? We we so, start so, talking like so you know, she you know, taking me in serious. You know the you know the difference between me and you. My dumbass would have went to Paris 
And then I probably, I don't know. First of all, let me tell you something. If a bitch asks you to go to Paris, excuse my language for saying bitch, how much you gonna have to spend when you get? That's what I'm saying, Ooh. bro. They don't understand, bro. It's like the vibe ain't the trip. The, the plane ticket ain't the problem. It ain't the, it, it's the ticket when I get there. She gonna want some you real hungry. Louis. She gonna want some real hungry. Louis. We going to stores. You looking at? Oh, I love this, and I'm standing next to you looking stupid. It's dumb. I'm not buying that. I'm not, bro. But that's not. I even, didn't come here with intention on trip. But that's not it's just service, stuff. though, bro. That's any trip. Any, Any trip, trip but take- Paris for sure. Yeah. <laughs> See, but I feel like I feel like the problem with that is not it's not a problem. I mean, I, the, the problem number it one is, is her her trying to and it because because part of it could be a test. It's a test because of the type of woman that she was but, like right. Said, this was, was her trying to wear vetting in industry, you to see if you really on that level. Trick, and an industry chick, you know what I mean? Usually dealing with like I said, like she had certain I, I don't name drop because you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Niggas yeah, you know, signed the NDA. Nah, say yeah, the yeah, name, nigga. No, no, I'm just saying like no, 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 no. What yeah, Cameron yeah. say? If you want to keep getting that pussy, nigga, you keep that so shit still fucking, I thought you were fucking her. I'm not, but hey, man, I like the comments with the blue checks on my shit every now and then. Facts. Anyway, I'm saying that to say. So niggas fucking bitches. She's a cool person. We friends still. Checks? We good. That's yeah. shallow. I think, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm shallow yes. as fuck sometimes. Yes. But I'm saying it's a relationship. Women fucking niggas. still have. She cool as shit. They got checks. She cool as shit. Women niggas, niggas, bitches fucking niggas who got money. We got real checks and we fucking with bitches that <laughs> got <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I said that to be funny, but I'm saying that also to say it's real you don't shit, ever burn no bridge. That's One a thing fact. my father taught me, and you know what I mean? My father like came in and that's out why my I'm life. In situation he told me, he always told me like, bridge. with women or oh anybody, God. you never burn a bridge, bro. You keep it open. Have One, you because about it? Have you, you about never it? know never when know. you need to walk back over that motherfucker, baby. And two, you don't want to close the door and get no good pussy. If I you think ain't got that's, to. You I, motherfucker you, right about that. I think that's the end of the I think we should start burning bridges because I feel like that probably would eliminate a lot of problems. <laughs> Yo, Jay on a whole new wave of shit Look, now. man, what's going like, on? Have like we talked it. about this? Hey, I, I, I watched the podcast. Like this is new. Yo, hashtag Have we talked Jay. about this? Hashtag Save Jay Hill, y'all. Yo, we should probably stop I wish you on that. Hashtag know, Save Jay, Jay Hill. Hill. That's all I'm saying. We probably should start. It probably now you care so much. It probably would be smart to burn some some bridges and close some doors. No, man. For what reason? What's the reason? The good reason to burn a bridge? Because I want my bitch back. Hey! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Shawty, hey, please come back. Yeah, Shawty, hey, come back. Uh, is the camera on me? Hila Bay. Yo, please put the camera on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shawty, please come back. Come back Who is this man? Yeah, this nigga got problems. Who is this man? He been crying every day, Shawty. He been crying every day. Hey. Oh, and I just want to say, I just want to say, I appreciate you guys for uh, pulling up on the on the podcast. It's still called the Jim and I Scope Your Podcast. I'm holding on, holding on for dear life. <laughs> Man, Sade. This, nigga Jay, this nigga Jay's on a fucking podcast campaign for Sade. Just come back. This shit, come on. Yeah. Oh, they stop playing, girl. I don't want. I, I know. I don't want. You know. I love Sade. I don't want her to look at this like, God damn, it's about me. But I want you to be like, you know, what I mean, let's be honest at end of the day with everybody. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. Um, as men. You feel me? We do have a responsibility as the men we are to be better in general. But when I we say- We make mistakes. No, let's have a fucking pocket. What? We no. Hey, let that nigga talk. Hey, 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 let that nigga talk. Go ahead. We make mistakes. We all have made mistakes. Shut up. Listen, we all have made mistakes, right? But the growth from it is what's important. So I'm happy that you are finding out who you truly are because- you know, we've been friends for a while. Like we, like we've been neighbors. Like you know what I mean. And yeah. I talk to you, and genuinely, you've always loved Charday. Yeah, hundred percent. Never talked to me. You never said no slick shit. So I do believe you truly are going through it right now. Yeah. But let this be a lesson to all men in general. You know what I'm saying? What's Some women ain't gonna take up with the shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like them women, mm-hmm. and that's the women that we want a wife. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But as you said, it's hard for women. To, you said women aren't raising their daughters to be wives because they're. Spending the entire time of their childhood being a mom and a father most of the time, Ooh. preparing and you talk to that no, shit. because I, I was raised by a single mother. My father was good, but he just sent a check every now and then. You know what I mean? I wish I definitely would have sent the checks back to get spend more time with my father. You know what I mean? That's so what I'm shit. saying is, it's hard for women to become or be taught. You know what I mean? Eddie taught a lot of women ain't taught to be. Uh, yeah, nigga, make sure you don't walk to the left. Make sure he you on the right away from the street. Make sure your door's getting open. Make sure you know what I mean. You never. You know what I mean? Like, it's just certain things. No, they're not being taught because the mothers are breaking their necks to survive. Mm-hmm. And you can't be, you can't even teach when you're trying to survive. My mother tried to teach me how to pee and how to ride a bike. 
I mm. appreciate everything my mother did, but guess what? I would have learned fast and been better off if my father was holding my hand. Sheesh. But those situations, those households are falling apart because, Lord. you know what I mean? Like mothers or fathers, Jesus they Christ. go through whatever they go through hey. and then they just, the fathers just dip. And then when I, I talk the about who deep. picked the baby daddy. And that's another reason too. Ladies, let's, let's hold women who responsible for no, having fact. sex with niggas and just having babies because they want babies. And not even that. Let's 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 no, hold, no, let's hold them responsible. To love let's hold them whoa, whoa, whoa. You were good because you were trying to save Jay's Hill. Now you're trying to go on a whole nother nah, campaign. No, 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 no. Let's stay with one campaign. No, 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 no. It's real not. shit. Nah, it's a lot of women friend. who keep the baby Stars. because they want a baby. Nah, outside of that though. Outside of that. Outside of that. I'm sorry. You said I haven't, I haven't. I'm lying. I haven't held a woman. You're not lying, but wait, you're blurring the lines. Wait, wait, That's now, the only thing I'm saying. Wait, I'm jumping. I haven't, held, I haven't held a woman accountable this entire podcast. Yeah. Can I? So I do think that we need to hold women accountable for choosing who they lay down with and have kids with. Of course. Because what happens is, this is nothing against uh, Shadi because I think she did a great job. Mm -hmm. But it's sometimes women like this is my first time ever being like a stepdad for real, right? Yeah. Imagine the woman who had multiple stepdads. Pause. Take the woman out and imagine a kid who had multiple stepdads. You see the difference in that, bro? And it's like, bro, this happened because of you. No matter who you want to put it on, this happened because of you. You got multiple men in this child's life because you made a mistake and you need to be more responsible. We talk but, about credit, right? But you, big on you, credit. you talk about holding niggas no, accountable. No, 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 hold up. I, I never held a woman accountable. Niggas ain't shit. Wait. And some but niggas wait, manipulate their ways in the situation with a woman. But wait. And then they leave. But it. I never, wait. I never I never held a woman accountable this entire podcast, right? Yeah. But hold up. I mean this though, because this is my first time ever being a stepdad, bro. It's been three years, almost four years. I technically. Do you love, do you love the kids? Like, yeah, I this? technically, but listen, I technically. Don't have no technically, technically. If I was a leader relationship, I could leave the the um the child relationship as well too, right? Technically. Imagine if four different men did that for four different years, bro. Imagine what that would do to a child, bro. It will. So that's what I'm saying. Like you, you, but you, but, but the aim you're doing is you're saying that watch who you marry, watch who you fuck with, because you're like I'm sure yes. you're not. Some women are going in like y'all just trying to get a nigga to take help. But it with shouldn't shit. be that. But some women are genuinely trying to find good niggas, what? and niggas ain't being. But guess what? But guess what? Though? Niggas being niggas. Nah, guess what though? You, I was one thing. I, I love what you're doing, bro. You paid all your debt. Your credit is good. You feel me? All these things are intentional, right? When when we talking about getting married, I, I I'm not the nigga with the credit or, or the money, but I, I would assume, right? All these things are intentional, like people that's rich. I'm assuming they, they marry in rich people so that their, their children and their families can be rich continuously, right? All this shit is- Rich men or rich women? Both. Both, honestly. So, you so, always so, so, my, so my point is, all I'm saying is, all these things are intentional because you're thinking about your legacy and you're thinking about your life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like as a woman, sometimes, of course, sometimes women, uh, girls have kids, so we mm -hmm. can't say that, right? But I feel like as women, they do need to be more intentional with who they lay down with, period. I think that's, and but some people, but you know what's crazy though? I'm sorry to bring it back to us, but like in society, but it's real. Mm -hmm. The women that are more intentional, we call them like hoes and shit because like they got standards. Nah, I mean, that's a fact though. I don't call Cause I had a girl, nah, we had the girl on my podcast. She was like, she ain't gonna fuck a nigga unless he got this amount of money, da da da. And niggas dogged her for that. But and she them, moves with intention, is that what you're saying? I, yeah. She said she ain't gonna. I don't know if she lied not, or not. Well, first of all, she said she said she was not, like it, we don't she ain't gonna fuck a nigga raw unless he got a couple well, million. First of all, I don't have a problem with her having well, intention. I like that. I'm having I'm having a problem with the focus of the intention. It's about it's about the focus of the intention. Every woman I fuck, you know what I mean. It's not a fact that she has intention. I, every woman should have intention. It's about what you're intending to do or mm. what's your intention to focus on. But yo, I just wanna say I appreciate you guys for coming. Um, shit, depending, I don't know. Y'all fuck around, come again. You feel me? I mean, you want us to fucking you know. shake the world, obviously. I know this shit gonna drop. Gonna yeah, this is about to be a problem. Yo, I've been a wild uh, nigga for a long time. I don't give a now fuck. you might, yo, you might, you might have been a favorite. Oh, for real? I don't know. Look, ladies, man. Hey, get, get your dick, ladies. That's all I want. Let's, let's hashtag get your dick. Get your get dick, your ladies. Dick. If you hashtag, want your dick, that's the name of the, the get, your get, get your dick. Get your dick, yo. It's oh okay, my, ladies. I'm not holding you accountable. That's gonna be the name of the podcast. No standards, baby girl. If you want it, go get it. dick. If it costs a couple dollars, let me know. Wait, if it costs what? Sixty dollars? No, oh. like a dinner. Oh, you feel me? So, so I asked this one last podcast. Yeah. Would you rather pay for the dinner for the two hundred dollars, or just give her the two hundred dollars in cash and get the pussy? It depends what I and look get, at and this get the woman pussy. for. No, no, no. Because if I like her, 
I definitely want her to want this dinner more than twenty dollars. I want her to want this dinner more. I want her to want the dinner. Sound like a fucking pussy. No, I'm saying like. I don't want, I want to her to want pussy. this dinner. I don't want to pay for pussy. I Dude, want her to want some. to chill. I was saying, first of all, I was saying more so, no, I want her to enjoy you. the company of me. That sounds like a too- pussy all my day. Wait a minute, hold, hold up, hold up. The no, audacity. No, he, see, y'all clowning, he Listen, being real right now. Real yeah, Cause I, real. I just got into an argument about like this that, today. You gonna be hurt as shit yeah. if a bitch come out of nowhere like, man, give me 200 for the shit. You yeah. think you like her and all of a sudden, like, man, give me 200. No, 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 wait. You gonna be hurt if you really want a girl she was asking for money. I ain't he was wrong for that. I said, would you rather I ra- if I'm dealing it depends with a bitch, I'm not on whether or not he's feeling I don't pay not. for pussy. I don't pay for pussy. I'll pay for a good time. Absolutely. If the dinner's 200 and we having a good time, cool. Because I know when you leave with me, you're going to have the best time of your life. I'm that nigga to me. Ah. So when you go out with me, you're going to have a good fucking time. And anyone so who you, ever you, went out with me can say, so stars are good. Can I ask you a question, then, stars? Yeah. You have, like, if, if we was in a relationship, right? I feel like one thing about men, we'd be hurt the thought of another nigga fucking our bitch. Yeah. If you that nigga so much, why do we be so hurt when we think about no fucking our bitch? Because we was that nigga so much, we wouldn't give a fuck because ain't nobody gonna fuck it like us. Cause man, it's ours. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes. Why it's do mine. we think? No one, saying, nobody playing with your, your toys. <laughs> it's mine. It's your collection. Until I've moved on, you can't move on. <laughs> Hey, I ain't fucking nobody. Yo, thank y'all. Yo, we out. We out. We out. Thank y'all. I ain't fucking Toxic nobody new. Boys pop. Yo, no, 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 no. Come in soon. I want y'all in this correctly because you're not gonna have me having saying all the clip like this. All I'm saying is, <laughs> when it comes to like, like you said, like I don't want nobody to fuck my like, chick I'm dealing with for real. Even if we going through it, until we like solidly done, you will be hurt if a nigga fucks your bitch. Like if you I'm still trying about a nigga talking your bitch. Let me tell you. You wrong regardless of what you're doing because you're trying to say that you decide when things is over. You're not giving her an opportunity no, to make I a decision. No, I said I would be hurt Jay was decision. on some bull... Y'all think... Jay I was, was on some bullshit no, today. Right. Y'all no. thought I was on some bullshit? No, no, no. Was, bro. no, 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 no. He Jay was, was on some bullshit. Yeah, what the fuck bullshit was on? Bro, he's not even like this. All I'm saying he's is... He's not even like this. What, what, is, what is he like in bro, real life? Bro, he's wild. He's worse than me. He's a, he's a wild boy. Oh, I'm saying... At least I was being me. He wasn't even being me. The difference is, yo, yo, at the end of the day, I can get him... First of all, it's not no bullshit. Consent, it's, on it's, it's consent, my nigga. It's consent to it. It's all good. All Shut I'm the fuck up, nigga. Is, y'all thought, I, bro, you know why? I was being me. He wasn't being himself. Is he a manipulator? Yo, you a lie. Jay's a manipulator. You a motherfucking lie. I'm Jay not manipulating shit. I can't Jay's be a manipulator. I'm not manipulating like, like, shit. You, dick out. you wanna get fucked, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jay like, well, you wanna get fucked? Yes. Cool. That's what Jay, that, Jay, that's what Can they, I come on your face? Is. Yes. First of yes. all, fuck all of y'all. I used to yes. hand and, and, the woman the condom. Yes. Put it on my dick. If she opens the condom, yes. that's consent. Yes listen, or no? Listen, what that's I'm actually Wait genius. a minute. So why the fuck is that not consent? That's consent. That's consent. It should be. So what the fuck are you talking you're, about? You're, you're opening wasn't. the condom. You know what's up with it? Y'all, 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 y'all just trying to play some bullshit what here. What are you like, talking nah. about? We're agreeing. We're saying yes. At the end of the day, I'm right. Okay, Gemini. Hey, Gemini Scorpio podcast. We appreciate you for all the listeners. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah. It's all about oh, consent. Yeah, hopefully. So, so it don't turn to the toxic boy. Uh, I mean, it's going to be toxic boy. Y'all want me here every way. Sunday. Just Let me tell that. you, females just in the comments that. is going to go <laughs> ham regardless, bro. Yo, thank you. Yo, I appreciate Yo, get, get y'all um, social media handles and shit like that, man. All right, cool. Go that way first, I guess. Uh, at JS, the number one, T H A S U P P L I E R. What the fuck was that? The Gambit <laughs> underscore 2.0 underscore. Oh, yeah, they know J shit already. Uh, I'm Stars, yo. You can type in I am Stars. That's I A M S T A R R Z. That's two R's, one Z. Don't spell my shit wrong. Bless dope us. ass music, dope ass podcast, dope yeah. ass individual. You always having some controversial shit, man. Make sure you follow the Gemini Scorpio podcast on all platforms. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. All that. Um, and um, blow up Shout out notifications too, yo. We appreciate it. Shout out come back. This shit week, yo. Shout out come back. back.